Kids, you know, Twitch channel network uh, program show, channel, p- web page uh, network channel, site, and uh, I'm Timmy Williams. I am uh, a member of the group. Uh, I was only in two sketches. One was about hot dogs, one was about baked beans, and I was never on the show again after that. Um, so uh, this is a cooking show. The reason I have a cooking show is because I like to eat food. <laughs> But also, uh, we're still raising money for our animated film, Mars. We're pretty much done, but we want some extra sprinkles on the top for some sound stuff and for submitting to festivals. And which that means, no, we don't know what when it's coming out or where it's coming out. We don't know any of that yet. We'll get there. We'll let you guys know. Um, and since I just explained it, 12 people are about to hop in and say Mars? Question mark, Which is uh, not a sentence or a question. It's just uh, four letters and a symbol. Anyways... Uh, but we will definitely let people know when it's done because a lot of you guys helped us pay for it. And also, it's uh, important to let people know when you're doing something you want them to watch. So, we will, we will definitely get there. And the sprinkles are jizz. Mars in, is anime. It's animated. Um, but, uh, I mean, there is a 45-minute scene where I'm just powering up a fireball. So, yeah, I guess it's anime. Um, okay, so uh, this is a cooking show. Tonight, uh, we're making pizza from scratch. This is something that people have wanted me to do for a long time. And then I didn't do Zucchini Boys for a long time because I was moving and being sad about different things. You know, it happens, you know. So uh, we're going to make pizza. And when I say from scratch, I mean motherfucking dough from scratch. I mean motherfucking sauce from scratch. And I'm going to make the cheese from scratch. And uh, and it's only gonna. I can still do this within two hours. Also, uh, I'm gonna make the pepperoni from scratch. I got a live pig right over here. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! He's being really rude. Anyways, I'm gonna kill the pig on screen and put him in a grinder and make pepperoni. So it's gonna be crazy. Um. So uh, and I am not. I didn't try to dress up like an extra uh, from The Sopranos, but uh, I guess it kind of works for this anyway. So there we go. Sacrifice boys, that'd be great. I do need a hook for the mixer, don't I? Okay. I'm just kidding, I bought the pepperoni at the store, but everything else will be made from scratch, so there we go. Um, so, first thing I'm doing is I got, well, I got my pizza stone out of the garage and I uh, dusted it off and cleaned it, and it's in the oven, which is currently heating up to 500 degrees. And, uh, I think actually is that the right amount on this uh, on the real? Oh, this is only 450. See, I was going by some other motherfucking stupid recipe. So uh, the one that I put on tw- uh, when I posted about this earlier, that's not the right recipe. You'll want to look up KitchenAid Crusty Pizza Dough on Food.com. Uh, this is a better one. This is like from the KitchenAid cookbook. KitchenAid is the company that makes the mixer, and uh, they have a few recipes when you get a mixer. Uh, that they fuck it are perfect. Their chocolate chip cookies, their pizza crust, and their pie crust are like perfect. So um, I'm going by the actual kitchen recipe now. I was not earlier, and fuck that noise. So the reason that you uh, may have seen me pull the bowl out of the oven is that you want the you want everything to be a little warm when you're making the dough. 
So uh, first of all, we're getting a, a one cup of warm water. I'm still here. 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 Okay, so warm water going in the warm bowl. Hell yeah. And then a yeast thing. I cultivated this yeast from myself. Just kidding. That'd be fucking weird, right? So, uh, we're dissolving the yeast in the warm water. And some of you are going to think this is good news, and some of you are going to think this is bad news. Ooh, that bowl is fucking... Oh, shit. <laughs> that bowl is still way warmer than I thought. Anyways, some of you will like this, some of you will not. But I fixed the camera. So it no longer has a fucking epilepsy going on. Uh, where'd my mouse go? Okay, so... That will be... We should be able to watch this shit dissolve. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Alrighty. I hope one day I have a house with a garage that I make pizza from scratch in. Well, I don't have that either. I have my pizza stone out in the garage just because it, I don't know, it ended up out there. Um, but I am making food in the kitchen inside of the house, which is kind of where a lot of kitchens are. Um, around here, if I had a kitchen, out here in La Dakota del Sur, uh, South Dakota, if I had a kitchen and a garage, people would probably like make fun of me because you know what you're supposed to have in your garage around here? Uh, a couch and carpet and a big TV. And you're supposed to call it a man cave because it's the only way to make sure that people know that you have a penis. And you like to use it, right? I find the whole concept of man caves very silly. My garage uh, right now is just full of like stuff for another rummage sale when it gets nice, but after that, I'm going to follow my friend sidecar driver's uh, instru or not instructions, but his kind of... Uh, I'm going to copy him and try and have a cool uh, fucking inventor garage. There's a lot of good stuff in there already. Timmy hates men. He watches movies on his phone. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to time you out. Um, I never watch movies on my phone unless you're talking about what I talked about yesterday on uh, Self Suck Friday, which was... Uh, that I did watch Cloverfield on my Amazon Kindle uh, a few years back because that's like a perfect kind of movie to watch like that because it's like found footage, you know? You're having Red Baron tonight? Yo, I mean, here's the thing. I had Hot Pockets last night. You know what I mean? Like, it's... And just because I did this does not mean I don't eat trash pizza, like, constantly. <laughs> you know what? Fucking Totino's? Just because you can make your own... Fucking uh, cool ass stuff doesn't mean you can't uh, eat a Totino's party square. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to get that all dissolved. Maybe I should grab a whisk, actually. I just don't want to beat stuff up too much. But Cloverfield is already an awful experience of a movie. So is unsolicited opinions, unless you're hosting the show. Um, all right. You want to go say something shitty? Go somewhere else and say it. I'm going to say what I like. I like Cloverfield. My daughter's at a sleepover, and uh, they asked me, what are some good PG-13 horror movies? Because if you watch Trailer Boys, well, if you watch anything at this point, you probably know, but especially if you watch Trailer Boys, you know I'm kind of a fucking geek about movies now. I've really evolved that over the last 10 years. So uh, anyways, I gave them a list, but uh, Cloverfield is what I suggested. I don't, I don't know if they're going to watch that or not. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, someone says, but I'm uh, uh, really curious to see how your cheese turns out. I tried it once and it was a disaster, never curled. Okay, so a little background. I, uh, when I was married and I lived in Oregon, we did a lot of DIY stuff. You know, um, it was a very misguided attempt at urban farming, but I did, it, and the marriage was also misguided. So was the move to Portland. It's been a very misguided time of my life. Anyways, yeah, I did pick up a few good things, though, and... One of them was learning how to do this. So uh, I used to be so into making this pizza dough that I went to the cool, weird, hippie grocery store in Portland and had a vial of yeast that only I was allowed to use, <laughs> you know? And uh, it was great. And so, you know, uh, this isn't going to be as fancy, but it will still be fucking fancy. And uh, it's going to be fun. So... 
So, all right, first I need to wipe this. Okay. And I do kind of want to get this going. This won't take long, but, um, all right. So, I've, uh, so what I've done is the bowl is warm. Okay, now it's perfect temp. It burned me a little bit earlier. But the bowl is warm right now, and uh, we're, uh, you want that to put the, and then you put it in warm water, and you dissolve the yeast in that, because you want everything to be kind of, uh, basically you're not trying to shock any of your ingredients, because there's going to be active things happening, right? And so if you put ice cold water on the yeast, it might fuck it up, you know, so, and that's why everything's nice and warm. It's like when you get into bed. And, like, uh, let's say you don't live your life alone like some sad, fat people in blue Hawaiian shirts do. But, like, let's say there's already someone in your bed, and you get in, and it's already warm from their farts. Like, you know, so it's, it's like, comfortable, right? So this is like farting in a bed before your, your lover gets in. That's what this is like, right? Okay, um... So, next up is the flower... And now this is not how I used to do it because I've since become even better at cooking and stuff. So, you know, we're, we're stirring the flour up with a spoon and then we're gently scooping it. God damn it. Well, first we're trying to open this motherfucker. And then we're going to gently scoop the flour, scoop it into the cup, measuring cup. We're not going to pack it. All right. All right. Oh my God, just open, you piece of fucking garbage shit. Here we go. Timmy, have you ever played any of the newer Tomb Raider games? Sorry if asking video game questions while you're cooking is annoying. Well, you know, everything's kind of annoying to me. I'm kind of a fucking curmudgeon, so don't worry about it. I played the first new Tomb Raider and uh, loved it. I think I played through it twice. I just never got around to the other ones. You're talking about the ones where they they uh, made her look like a normal fucking person and didn't make her a princess of the honker people, right? <laughs> so as far as... Uh, Fancy pizza. People are kind of talking about my fancy pizza. That's fine. But uh, uh, I am not the fancy pizza. I'm not even, like, yes, I agree this is kind of fancy to do all this. Uh, I am not the fancy pizza member of my family. I have a brother. Uh, I'm the oldest of six kids. And so kid number two moved to, uh, he lives in Minneapolis. For a long time, he was a chef. Well, he still is a chef. And he's he never went to school. He just kind of came up in pizza joints around there. And so a while back, he was the head chef at a place called Day Block. And he kind of designed all their crazy pizzas there. And, and um, he still does that. He helps make, uh, he, he like designs the pizza, sandwiches, and soup for uh, kind of like a, it's like a, a local uh, free, fair trade, locally grown uh, frozen food company that does stuff around there. So... High V represent. Oh, it says high V on there, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, so we're doing uh, two and a half cups of the flour first. And we're going to add that. Okay, so there's one, about one cup. Okay. And we'll do another one. If you want to kind of see how I'm doing the flour here. There we go. Alrighty. You love the food at Day Block? Okay, well, he hasn't been there for a few years, but I think they probably still use his stuff. And then there was some other guy there that tried to claim that he made everything, but uh, I didn't believe him because uh, he was just one of those guys that's hard to believe. And I also, I know my brother uh, is good at what he does and really did it, you know. But, you know, one time I was down. They had a stage, and so I performed there one time. This guy, you know, when you're about to perform and if people, like, are fans of you, sometimes people can be such dickheads about stuff, you know. So this guy was, like, trying to basically impress me. By saying he made all the food that my, and not my brother. I'm like, yeah, that's, how would this impress me? You're just dissing my family. <laughs> Anyways. My fridge door is slightly open. Well, the thing is, it's not. So, uh, you shouldn't apologize for that, but for uh, making assumptions instead of just saying, hey, is your fridge door open? But, I mean, the internet isn't about treating other people like respectable humans, so it's okay. Anyways, uh... Okay, so there's two and a half cups. And yeah, I'm fucking sassy. And uh, get over it. It just happens, you know? That's how I am. I'm not hangry. You're getting timed out. I hate that shit. What I hate the most is confident misinformation and just making fucking assumptions. So, you know, time out, you're a fucking dumbass. All right. So, uh, half teaspoon of salt.
He meant you're horny and angry. Well, now I can mean it uh, without anyone being able to say what he says. See what he says. So, all right. Be a little less confident with your digs, assholes. Well, real Michael Jackson, you're pretty good at being a dumb asshole on here. And I mean that as a compliment, kind of. So, yeah. Okay, and then um, we need the olive oil in here, right? Uh, salt, olive oil, and two and a half cups of flour. Okay, so two teaspoons of olive oil. Olive oil, that, that's that lady that uh, bones Popeye, right? And then, like, that dude would try and, like, kidnap her and force himself on her, right? Remember that? That that children's cartoon and, and the comic strip about a guy trying to rape another man's wife? Anyways. Uh, trigger warning, I guess, sorry. Okay, so uh, now it's time to say goodbye to these ingredients because we're going to mix them up and it's going to be fucking tits. All right. I did not mean for that song to be as great as it was. I feel like Olive Oil's HJs would be super weak. Tripping Dale said, Timmy doesn't have patience for trolls anymore, and then did a crying emoji, which, uh, great. Um, so, here's the thing. That's not about patience for trolls. It's about deciding as a fucking community of humans all over the world and on the internet that, like, we're going to change, and I'm trying to spread this message. I'm going to, like... For a million, for a long time now, the whole thing with trolls has been like, their goal is to piss you off. They're going to say stuff to people to try and piss them off, right? But then if you, the person they're trying to piss off, gets pissed off and tells them you're pissed off, then they play the victim. Oh, you're being so mean to me. It's like, well, fuck you. You're anonymous. You're behind this anonymous hiding space, your, your fake name, and you're just trying to piss people off. So congratulations, you got what you wanted, but I'm better at being an asshole than you are, so I'm going to fucking destroy you. So just fucking be nice instead, you know? Because the thing is, is like, for so long, I mean, look at who the president was for a while. He was the internet, the first internet troll president, and his whole thing was like being shitty to people. And if anyone even considered being shitty to him, he was like, Aah! you know, it's all about the fucking, you know, straight white males, especially just plain fucking victims. And I'm sick of it. And uh, you're going to be an asshole. I'm going to be an asshole back because I'm an asshole and it's fine. So uh, with that being said, let's make some goddamn pizza dough and stop giving these fucking boogers the attention they wanted. That's the only reason they even did it, you know? I knew someone was going to bring this up. Dollicker GFY says, Timmy, I have a serious question for you. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? If you want it on there. There's no, like, uh, I, I'm all, that's another thing I don't like to do is that whole, like, a, like that whole, ah, uh, what is the fucking word? Kind of uh, absolutism, like, uh, about stuff that is actually subjective, you know. And I know you're not asking it for that reason, but people are like, pineapple, whoa, pizza. It's like, really? Is that what we have to fight about now? It's like, you know. Um, I think that people who uh, like to like to argue about pie, and I'm not saying you don't look her, but it is a question everybody asks right now because it became part of the discussion of food on the internet. But um, I think the people who get really obsessed with whether whether or not you can put pineapple on a pizza are the same people who have like way too many bacon things when that was you know like mugs and mouse pads. You know, I think those are the same people, right? That were just way too into that shit. Um, okay, so we don't need the camera on the pizza dough because it's really just the mixer in the way. Someone said that KitchenAid mixer is choice. Yes, and it was an anonymous gift from uh, some members of Horton, uh, which are, are you guys, chat, you know. Um, so here we go. Let's get this going, right? How about putting ranch on a pizza? That's an insult to Italians. Well, the pizza we make here is an insult to Italians anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> the pizza that my uh, brother made, I mean, he made lots of crazy stuff. So, um, he would make a breakfast pizza called Eggs Over Osaka that had, uh, I forget what kind of Japanese hot sauce and some seaweed and stuff on it. And then, like, as it, they use a conveyor belt baker and, or an oven, and as it was going through, like, right before it goes under the heat, he cracks an egg on top of it. It was awesome. But here's the thing with pineapples. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff you could do with that. Um, the, uh, oh, man, it smells so yeasty in here. I love it. I hope your brother made pizza that might be seen in TMNT. He definitely made, I mean, here's the thing with my brothers. He's made pizza for so long. 
that when he decides to make a regular ass pizza, like just cheese or pepperoni, it's fucking incredible. <laughs> you know, like he just, that's what happens, you know, they just get fucking good. So now what we're doing is we're continuing on, uh, we're about to continue on the mixing speed, um, but just so you can see what's going on so far. Um, so the, uh, so it is starting to get balled up. See that? Oh yeah. And so we're gonna add a little bit. We want it, it's a little sticky, so we're gonna add a little bit more flour and then keep going with it. That's gonna be cool. And so basically, you know, the dough's gonna have to rise for a while, uh, like an hour or so. Uh, it's gonna take me an hour to get the uh, tomato sauce and the mozzarella going anyway, so it's fine. What do we got? 620, all right, I'm doing fucking great. Here we go. Do I have a favorite pizza? Uh, you know, that's a great question. Um, I am old school and I just like a really good pepperoni pizza. And what's funny is, you know, obviously South Dakota is not where you think of when you think of great pizza, but we have a pizza joint here called Dempsey's. Um, it's a big Urbana warehouse. It's been a brewery for years. And I think they started kind of with more Irish Scottish food because the, the guy that started the business, uh, he'll like wear a kilt and play the bagpipes and shit. You know, it's all about that. But so then his son is now the owner, and his son is, like, obsessed with pizza and, like, went to, like, a pizza college, and he's certified for, like, um, um, brick oven pizzas and all that stuff. And so the pizza, and, and now multiple people that work for him have also gone through that program. So there's, like, three or four dudes there that are kick-ass at pizza, or at least two. And also one of, and now they do the same thing for the brewers. The brewers are all great uh, for the beer they make, and then also they, uh, I, one of their bartenders like won some sort of mixed drink contest. So they're all fucking awesome at what they do. That's like their whole thing. But so their pizza is really good. And, uh, you know, people, I've had people visit me from the East Coast, like Italian American people in some cases, visit me from the East Coast, from Providence, from Brooklyn, whatever, and try their pizza and be like, this is fucking great. So, you know, <laughs> it's good stuff. It's fun to, you know, there's a lot of things that are about living here that drive me insane. But, uh, the fact that we have like some really good food like that is awesome, you know? Has dollop mashed potato had dollop mashed potatoes on pizza over a decade ago and I highly recommend. That's another one my brother did. He did a pizza called the Hungry Hungarian, and it was a mashed potato base, and there was like sauerkraut and you know, like holy sausage probably, stuff like that cut up on it. Um, from what I know it was incredible. So ultimately, you're going to put about three and a half cups of flour in here. So we're at two and a half right now. And I still have the second camera on, which is stupid. But um, it's starting to get all toe up in there, so that's great. Need on speed two for two minutes. Okay, so excuse me, camera. Ew. Oh, it works. Very cool. Um, so it's getting there, you know. Oh, yeah. Basically, what, there's, there's a goal here. The goal is to uh, get it going until it's like all a ball on the hook and basically cleaning the sides. You know what I mean? So, okay. Half cup at a time until dough clings to dough hook and clean sides of bowl. Need us to be okay. There. Then Coco Mod says, if I knew about pizza college, maybe I'd, I'd have put some more effort into my life. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool idea. Uh, Felix the Cat something, something says, have you ever made a leftover pizza? We used to take ingredients from leftovers as toppings like meatloaf, mac and cheese, etc. No, that's a great idea. Um, but so good old pepperoni and cheese is my favorite. But um, uh, I used to make pizza crust all the time and I'll have extra pizza crust after doing it. So another one I like to do is barbecue chicken. And I would make the barbecue sauce uh, from scratch. And then... Um, we had chickens, but they're for eggs, so I'd buy the chicken from somewhere <laughs> and put that on there. But red onion on there and gouda, because gouda uh, is a uh, type of cheddar, right? And it goes really well with barbecue sauce, so the flavors, because it's kind of smoky. So um, made, makes a great... Uh, holy shit balls! Okay. Makes a great... Uh, uh, whatever the fuck I was talking about. Pizza. Pulled pork and brisket as leftovers on pizza? Fuck yeah, that sounds fan goddamn tastic. Wait, I'm at three and a half now, aren't I? Shit. That's okay. We're gonna let this knead for a little bit. I may have put, now I'm a little worried I put too much flour in, but you know what? No, not the way I was measuring flour, it's okay. Where's the butter? 
All right, time to get some greasy hands up in here. Hey, how's my sound? I mean, I know right now this is loud and weird, but how is it generally? Timmy, serious question about the mixture. Do you think it's worth it? I've been debating on and off due to the price. I'm worried I wouldn't use it enough to justify it. Okay, well, first of all, a little background on my mixer life. So I had a KitchenAid mixer that uh, I received as a wedding gift back when I was married. When I got divorced, I did not get to keep the mixer. And I used to bitch about it on here once I started a cooking show. And so a very nice fan uh, anonymously sent me a fucking KitchenAid mixer. So I've never paid for one. So yes, it's worth it to me. But I know they're expensive. And yes, I would say they're worth it. If you're going to do, you know, even a little bit of baking, I don't use it every day. But I definitely, you know, I make pizza crust, make cookies, uh, zucchini bread, uh, whatever. And it's, I mean, for baking, it's awesome. And then you can get all these attachments for it, like to do... Uh, ice cream, uh, you can make pasta, you can make sausage with it, you know? Yeah, and Felix the Cat uh, says, I like KitchenAid because of the warranty and they last forever. Yep, They're, it's just good shit, yeah. you know? So maybe I need to put a little more water in here. I don't know, man, there's a lot of stuff left over in there. I'm not happy about that. See, I haven't made this in so long, I'm probably fucking rusty at it. Anyways, I don't need any more flour in there, obviously. I might do a, a smidge more warm water, though. Let's do it. Actually, let's do it here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay. And this is not this is not the part of the night I was worried about. The, the concern here tonight is the cheese. And the reason the cheese is a concern is because it's actually a very easy to make recipe. However, I don't have one of the ingredients that I used to be able to get when I lived in Oregon to make the cheese. So the cheese is basically just milk and salt and then citric acid, which I have. But the other uh, one is an enzyme called rennet. And rennet is cultivated from the calf, uh, from the stomach of a calf, a baby cow. And I've had some in Oregon. I might have had the vegetarian version, but I had some. And it, uh, I kind of planned to do this tonight, uh, last minute, like only two days ago. So I wasn't able to find fucking rennet anywhere. So I looked it up, and with soft cheese, which is I'm going to make is mozzarella, which is a soft cheese, you can um, use vinegar. So I'll be using some citric acid and vinegar, so we'll find out together if it works. And I do have backup mozzarella if it fails, so, you know. You buy your rent on Amazon? Well, you know, so would I if I had time, but I didn't have time. Uh, you know, so I didn't do that. But who, who said that anyways? Is somebody else making cheese? And if fez. Cool. I mean, I, I assume that's what you're doing, right? Can you use rennet for anything else? I don't think so, right? See, and, and something's kind of weird about this mixture bowl, too. So I, it's not like the one I used to have. So I'm just not quite used to it. So I'm kind of, I don't want to, well, it's okay to overwork this dough, actually. But uh, I, need, I need to put a little more water in it, I guess. Let's do this right here. Okay. Is there a sub rennet? You know, Sam already made that joke last night, but uh, thank you. Yeah, I think a little more water will be good to go. That's the thing is you can just keep fucking with it. You know, you put more water in, oh, now it's too sticky, you put more uh, uh, dough in, you know? So I know that everything's shaking horribly. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, it's because I didn't put the lock. This is a movable counter. I didn't put the locks on it. Holy shit! Okay, just a little bit more water. We should be good. It's getting fucking crazy in there. Can you see it? Okay, now it's getting too wet. Too wet, too wet, too wet, baby. Gotta run for shelter. Gotta run out of that shade. Oh yeah, way too wet. Okay, now we need a little bit more flour. So this is going to make a little more dough than I planned on, which is fine. Okay. Ugh. Uh, someone's asking if it's common for KitchenAid mixers to have issues. Yeah. The only issue I ever have with this one is the bowl. 
The bowl's a little weird. The bowl has like a kind of dip in the bottom that I find uh, a lot of the attachments don't reach. And so sometimes shit gets stuck in them. Okay. Bidet to you says, Hi, Toby McGuire here. Just came to, to say pizza time. I'm Toby McGuire. I bet they're not. Um, but hey, Toby, I love you in uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, that was that other guy. Sorry. Is that rude? That's not rude. Visible rude? Right. Yeah, it's definitely cutting down on the kneading time, but um, I need time to make the cheese. So, you know, I do want to get this wrapped up. Elijah Wood is one of his best friends. Is that true? Because, I mean, they've got to get... That wasn't just a joke for me, right? They gotta get confused all the time. Also, you guys, let me know if the uh, animated GIF on my uh, food sign is too annoying. I think it's great. But I'm not always right. I mean, I'm always right. But, you know, you can still let me know if it's annoying. Okay, I'm kind of saying this is good. So it's very slightly sticky, but it's uh, pretty much a, dough, a ball of dough. And now I'm just going to eat it. I lied. I'm not going to make pizza tonight. I'm just going to eat this raw dough. No. Okay, so there's that. So next up, we're going to move this guy because the KitchenAid has served us well and is now no longer needed this evening. Thank you, KitchenAid Mixer. I'll now unplug you from the fucking extension cord because, uh, you know, the house I, I bought recently is great, but the power situation is weird. A lot of ungrounded sockets, which means they're two hole instead of three hole, and you can safely, you know, make it work but it's just also just uh, you know and also there are weird locations and I kind of am in a weird spot here because I like to have the camera with it uh, over there on the oven you know it's uh, just a little wild but anyways um, and also so that the the camera is no longer freaking out as you may notice um, anyone who watched the last show the camera was fucking crazy it was like glitching and crazy and I fixed that I can turn it back to that if anyone ever wants me to I loved raw dough as a child. Let me ask you this. I have some cousins who uh, both are they're doing very well. One of them has uh, been involved in politics. The other one recently uh, got nominated for a Grammy. She didn't win, but uh, they were not. Her and her husband and their friend have a classical music trio, and they uh, were nominated for Best Album of the Year. They didn't win, but, I mean, who gives a shit, right? They're nominated for Best Classical Music Album of the Year. Fucking awesome. Anyways, so when we were kids, when they would be, they live over on the East Coast. When they, we were kids, they would come visit us, and there's this restaurant we used to go to, and they would, uh, while we're waiting for food, they would eat pads of butter. Anybody else ever do that? I think it's gross. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're putting the dough in a bowl. And uh, we're going to punch it. Oh, no, that's afterwards. Oops. Okay. Okay, but we want to... So you're putting it in a greased bowl. That's what I was just doing with the butter. And you want the, the dough to be kind of greasy, too. Probably sure I would love this part. Um, so you get that all greasy. We're going to cover it and let it rise in a warm place until doubled in bulk. All right, so... Put a little uh, towel over it. Put it in a warm place. Uh, this actually is a very, uh, a fairly drafty part of my house, so I think if I have it near the oven-ish, it'll be fine. All right. This is an addition the guy built onto the house. The main part of the house is back there, and uh, so it doesn't always uh, get warm, you know. But since I get hot and sweaty whenever I do stuff like this, I'm like, this is perfect for me. <laughs> Less flop sweat. For people that got turned on by flop sweat, sorry. There's not, although I do have some right now. Here we go. 
Oh, that's right. We have a, the butter bar sketch. That's right. I, I forget about that. There's, we just have so many sketches. I showed my daughter that the other day because we were talking about eating butter or whatever. <laughs> you know, like, isn't that weird? Yeah, it's weird. And I was like, wait, have you ever seen the butter bar sketch? She's like, no. I'm like, oh, that one's perfect for kids. You got to watch it. You know, so uh, she loved it. And she was like, that poor little kid. I'm like, well, he was just acting. All right, let's do a timer for the dough. Well, no, we'll just look at it. Okay, so I think it is time. I want to get the timing right on this stuff. So I, I, the cheese definitely needs to happen, but I might want to get the tomatoes cut up first for the sauce. Yeah, let's get this going, then I can just like let it do its thing for a while. Okay. All right, we will get the uh, tomatoes first, and then it's cheese time. Which is good, because that way I can focus on the cheese and not have to worry about other stuff, you know? Has Bobby London ever tried to reach out to you guys since you've been on Twitch? The thing is, is I, like... That's one of those stories that, like, Zach and Trevor would both combine their bad memories and just make, like, a new version of a story that's not right. And, um, <laughs> the, uh, his name was Bobby Landon, as far as I know. But I don't know. Whatever. They can call him whatever the fuck they want to. But, uh, no, I've never heard, heard from him. I don't even know, like, if he... Like, that, you know, there's a, other little kids from the shows, too, and I'm like, I wonder if they, like ever, like, did they know what they were on? Do they like it now since they're, like, you know, young adult, well, adults, you know, at this point, you know? Um, and they would probably be fine with me saying they have bad memories. They know they did. Well, one of them can't really respond anymore, so. All right, so, um, tomatoes. So this is going to take five cups of chopped up tomatoes, and... This, uh, the sauce is gonna have, might have some interesting issues, because it's very, very, it was very, very fucking cold and very snowy here the last few days, part of Winter Storm Olive. We got, uh, 11 inches? I don't know, we got a whole bunch of fucking snow. And, uh, 10, 11 inches. And, uh, uh yesterday I bought the tomatoes left in my car, so, like, I think they froze a little bit, they seem okay. And then I bought basil that I'm gonna have to chop up some. Well, the basil I fucking forgot to put in the fridge, so, until early this morning. So the basil seems okay, I don't know. So, uh, but I, I'm going to try a new method of seeding the tomatoes, because I always hate seeding the shit. Am I still in what town, homie? I don't know who you are, but sure, we're homies. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Please, I'm not going to waste that. So I need a little spoon. Actually, they said they use a very small spoon, so let's do that. All right, here's a bunch of t tomatoes. P tomatoes. All right, so... This is gonna be, uh, we need five cups of this. Tomatoes, that is. Basil should be okay, not refrigerated. Well, I know, but it's, it wilted, so that's why I'm a little worried about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, I wanna look at this. Scoop the tomato seeds and any tomato seeds. Uh, tomato seeds and any tough white core out of the four seed ca uh, cavities. Yeah, you know, let's just do this into. I don't think I'm gonna need this no more. So we'll just. Oh, see, this is the problem because they are very cold, so it's not as easy to scoop this shit out. It's okay. Man, that second camera may, really makes it look like I know what I'm doing. So that's too bad because I don't want people to think I know what I'm doing. I have not. I don't think I've made. I have made pizza sauce before, but I think I just used like you know canned tomatoes before. Or no, I think I. I don't know. That was back when. I don't know. I probably maybe somebody else did this part. I don't. Whatever. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, and uh, yeah. You guys don't need me to stammer about this. We got. You know what's happening. All right. Okay, now, now this one I didn't cut the way this uh, suggestion says. Yeah. Um, uh, but I'm just gonna fucking kind of chop it up here. Chop it up, chop it up. We got tomatoes on the cutting board, get it on. We got, we got tomatoes on the cutting board, living it up. We got Timmy about to make cheese, living it up. We got tomatoes giving up the seeds, giving it up. 
Dr. Drake, motherfucker! Last time I did this, was I making Super Bowl snacks? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to go back to check. VSCO filter on that food cam. I don't know what that means. If the camera just sucks, so whatever. Thank you. Sure. We just want the meat, you know? I mean, seeds are fine, but I would like to get rid of them. This is going to take for fucking ever, isn't it? I wanna... Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to do that on that. Okay, uh, whatever. The rest of them I'll be doing the right way. No, I am too old for VSC. I have no idea what it means. And, you know, the thing is, when you get older, you realize newer things are just stupid. So it's fine. I'm just kidding. Well, sort of. But, yeah, I'm kidding, basically. Uh, I understand that's how old people become shitty and uh, ruin the world like they've done. So. Gonna make cheese bread? Nope. It's almost like I type in what I'm gonna make on the thing. Um, I have made, and I should try this again sometime, but... Uh, Zucchini cheese bread, like using zucchini as the base instead of flour. Yeah, also it's funny, it sounds like, well, are you gonna make anything else? It's like, dude, I'm making some, all this goddamn stuff from scratch. Like, I mean, I know it's the internet, no one's ever happy, but wh really, what do you want from me? <laughs> hey, uh, could you maybe do this standing on your head and uh, way drunk? I mean, that would be a pretty good show, too. Yeah, but the zucchini, I keep losing, it's right here. The zucchini uh, cheese bread is good, and obviously it's healthier for you, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Alrighty. All right, Timmy, chill. You get timed out. Someone who just doesn't understand. See, that's the thing. People are just like, Ugh, but, but, but we can't give you shit. If we give you shit, you uh, get mad at it. Uh, and I know that guy didn't really give me shit asking about the bread, but it's like, come on. I don't know. No, the person that asked about the cheese bread is fine. I just was going off on it kind of in general, so don't worry about it. But the person who just told me to chill got timed out, because fuck that. You chill, motherfucker. Never tell people to calm down. I agree. And you know what that is? And this is probably going too far, and I'm sure this person, well, they probably already got off uh, and aren't watching anymore, because that's what they do. But um, it's not like they're wanting to support us. They didn't have any stickers in front of their name. Anyways, uh, the... Uh, that's a classic, like, uh, you know, shitty, uh, not, you know, it's, it's kind of, well, it's a tactic people use uh, who uh, berate and abuse you. You need to calm down, you know? It's like that fucking Taylor Swift song. Yeah, tossing the dough is going to suck. I'm just going to, I'll make it work. I don't know if I'll be tossing it so much. Okay, we want five cups of fresh tomato seeded and cubed. All right. Our bruschetta and salsa siblings. Well, I mean, I feel like they're kind of similar, right? It's a form of gaslighting. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, Hedge Sickle. It flips abuser to victim. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what they're always all about, right? Because uh, what else do abusers do? And I've been, you know, I, I've been uh, on the receiving end of abuse, I guess. Anyways, so uh, they tell you it's your fault. Like, literally, you'll get hit and they'll be like, you made me do this. It's like, really? How'd that fucking work? What is this, Ratatouille? Okay, now I want to see a sequel to Ratatouille where, like, there's an, an abuser, right? You don't need to whoop anybody's ass. Everything's fine. I mean, everything's terrible. But you, you guys get it. Okay, so... Oh, I gotta chop up the garlic, too. Ugh, yeah, I'm starting to feel overwhelmed with this thing. So there's about one, there's one cup of tomatoes, well, not quite. Okay, so now I can do it the way I want it to. Only thing I have is the is the right, and cut the tomato down the center equator line into two halves. All right. Oh, this is the great, this is the best way to seed it. Full show, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. 
Now let's really get moving, huh? Let me know when he's pounding dough. Oh, you'll know. You know what? Fuck this. Well, that's uh, another thing. They told me to use these. Uh, I wanted to find it. I wanted to get a new method for seeding a tomato. And I looked this up, and they're like, use a quarter teaspoon. It's like, well, I need metal, brah. I'm fucking tough. Mad props for steaming, for ste steaming the workflow. Maybe you meant streaming, but yes, thank you. You know, it's it's a you know. I mean, it's a part of cooking, though. You know, that's why it's always funny. Like the glamorous cooking of the Food Network is such horseshit. <laughs> you know, like Emerald's already got his stuff in the oven. Whatever. It's like, yo, man, this sucks, and you know it. And I know you worked your ass off to get where you are. Okay, great. But now you're just lying to people. And then, you know, they get to, to their house and they try and, like, make whatever fucking souffle you just did. And they realize how goddamn hard it is and they beat their kids. You know what I mean? So. And no, that, what I, the joke I just made has nothing to do with uh, what else I was saying. That wasn't me. Okay. That wasn't how it happened. Giada isn't horseshit. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. No one ever talk, talk smack about her. <laughs> we must protect her. <laughs> Who are the best cooks? Or, or like the most fun, you know, coolest ones? Uh, Bourdain was cool. Uh, Guy Fieri, obviously. Giada seems cool, right? I mean, pretty and cool don't always go together, but you know, enough. And Italians are chill, isn't she Italian? Anyways. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. I mean, I know it's going to be good. I just, uh, it's seeding the tomatoes. It's kind of stressing me out right now, but that's okay. It's the kind of prep shit. It's like, this is the only time on Zucchini Boys with stuff like this. It's like, man, I need a fucking sous chef. Or maybe I could have done some stuff ahead of time. But, you know, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, on those cooking shows, they're like, oh, yeah, look at this. I have all these chopped up tomatoes. It's like, yeah, who the fuck did that? Your PA, you know. You know that's what it is, some poor fucking college kid having to fucking cut up Emerald's garlic for him. Because he's too fucking wiped out on methamphetamine to do it himself. Ming Tsai, is that a cook? Oh, is Nate here? Hi, Nate. Jesus Christ. Oh, I almost hurt myself. I was just thinking today how, like, a lot of people, uh, I think, wow, that was weird. A lot of people come on uh, to watch Zucchini Boys and then expecting, you know, uh, okay, a lot of people sometimes, some, not a lot of people, but there are some people out there who seem to think Why This Kids, our, our sketch TV show, was like a, a, a reality show. And so they come on to the cooking show on Zucchini Boys expecting me to be like, wah, 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 wah. And, like, constantly, like, you know, farting and falling over and cutting myself. And, uh... Um... No, I kind of know what I'm doing, actually. And I was just thinking today, like, well, you know, I've never, like, really hurt myself on here. Uh, I have that very sharp knife a member of Horta made me that I don't think I need to use tonight. But, um... Because serrated works better for tomatoes, I've always thought. But, um... But anyways, I managed not to cut my fingers off with that shit, and that was very sharp. And, uh, you know, uh, and I've never really burned myself. I think I, I have burnt one or two things. I know there was one where I destroyed some fucking bacon. Remember that? I just, like, I think I put it in the oven, because I love oven bacon, and I think I forgot about it. Isn't that what happened? Now you want to see me fart fall over? <laughs> well, maybe. I mean, the last show, I don't have any booze tonight, but uh, the last show, uh, I uh, finished my whiskey that I had been sitting in my, um, been sitting in my cupboard since Christmas or whatever, and I finished my whiskey, and I was like, what are we talking about buying a house? Yeah. So. And really, this stuff isn't going to eventually get uh, demolished in the blender, so it's okay to just kind of cubing-ish it, you know? 
Then Nate censored the good shit. Uh, he, I think he was joking about that. I think he really did put in all the house tour stuff, but maybe not. I didn't watch that episode. I do go, so if you don't know, uh, our streams, uh, Nate, Sam's brother, is an angel of a man, and he, uh, I'm only saying that because I'm pretty sure he's watching right now, but um, he's a fucking dickhead otherwise. But anyways, uh, the, uh, he takes uh, our Twitch streams and uh, makes them into a big two-hour video. Yes, he does have to edit stuff sometimes, but whatever. And uh, puts it uh, on our v special YouTube page just for that. WKUKVODS. WKUKVODS. On YouTube. And um, Nate does that stuff. And so, yeah, sometimes he has to edit it or whatever. And uh, But he was jokingly telling me that he uh, removed my drunken house tour. I think it is actually still in there, though. Nate, comment or you're a dickhead. <laughs> I missed the show last night. How many boys showed up? Three of us. We actually scheduled that uh, for Darren, and then uh, things happened, and Darren wasn't able to come, and I, you know, he's just dealing with some stuff, and hopefully he's okay. But, um, I mean, he is okay. He'll be okay. We'll uh, check in with him soon, hopefully. But anyways, was that one cup? Oh, my God. Also, the seeds that I'm trying to... I'm seeding all this, but then there's seeds on the cutting board, so they're going to get in it anyways. <sighs> okay. Any hot goss on Darren? Nope. So anyways, uh, it was me. Uh, so we did it for Darren, but Darren couldn't show up. That's what I did Friday afternoon or evening, whatever. So uh, it was me, Zach, and Sammy. And uh, Zach was only there about half the time. Uh, yeah, as most people know, he's, uh, you know successfully getting his next film made, his next horror film, and he's, uh, I think he's probably writing the script right now, or, I mean, he's written it, but I think, you know, I don't know if he's doing rewrites or they're already doing pre-production or what, so, he's a busy little boy, and we're really, really, really happy for him, I mean, I'm so fucking stoked about all that, I loved the movie, loved Barbarian, and, uh, you know, he fucking deserves it, he's, that guy's busted his ass for fucking ever, in Hollywood and etc. And uh, you know, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Oh, there we go. Is that what you're saying when you like them? Yeah, yeah. Cause he's a nice guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I like don't know how anything works anymore. Okay. I'm like, yeah. Did I compliment him or did I actually say something shitty? No, I think I was nice. Okay. Good. I remembered Space Casino this morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, that guy was nice too, right? This. Uh, chat, some member of uh, Hortown was like, hey, will you guys look at my, like, watch uh, my band's video and roast us? And we, it was just actually one of those YouTube videos. It was just the music. But, um, so we watched this guy's band. Uh, we listened to a song and, like, roasted him a little. And he was like, thank you so much for roasting me. I'm really glad you guys watched it. <laughs> like, what a fucking nice person. And it's funny because it's like, man, if you, it's like, Obviously, that person just likes us and was excited to have us listen to his music and whatever, and it was a good time. But it's it's also like, that's a great plan for, like, making someone feel really shitty. <laughs> to be like, hey, can you make fun of me? And they make fun of you, and then you're like, hey, thank you. And they're like, oh, oh God, I'm an asshole, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, at first we watched the wrong space casino, and then Zach and Sam were like, why are there two space casinos? And me being the resident nerd, I'm like... Fucking Star Wars. Uh, that movie that everybody incorrectly hates. Well, only... No, the people that didn't like Last Jedi were just a vocal minority who are afraid of women, but... And, well, I know some people just legitimately didn't like it, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm not trying to get on that fucking train wreck of a topic. Um, in that movie, they had uh, a space casino. So I was like, that's it's probably a Star Wars reference, you know? The first one was easy to roast, but when we found the correct Space Mountain, it was Space Casino, but why not? Uh, it was such a different vibe that it was, yeah, yeah, it was like, well, yeah, we, we didn't really make fun of it. When the pizza in the oven, can we do the Macarena? I don't know. No. Uh, well, maybe. Right now, I feel like I'm never going to get the fucking pizza in the fucking oven, so what time is it? So, all right, we're doing all right. It's just, you know, the prep stuff is just... Ugh. You know, ugh. right? Ugh. I'm trying to get five cups. I don't even know if I got enough tomatoes, but I think I did. 
Oh, now I have my own hair in my mouth. Uh, uh, uh. And I have canker sores right now, so I don't want to touch my mouth with tomato hands. Oh, God. I really had a bad couple weeks and months for canker sores, man. Just nonstop. They're ulcers, not herpes. That is cold sores. Suck a butt. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, that was horrible. Okay. Is the Maka Random making a comeback? No, I randomly uh, tweeted like early this morning, like, life hack, you can do the Maka Ma to any song. <laughs> so that's what people were asking. I do know the Maka and I probably will do it. Um, okay, realistically, you probably do have herpes one. I love shit like that. It's like, cool. Um, there's your man points, go away. All right, so, uh, Do it before you pull the pizza out? Yeah, I'll be like, I've got the pizza cooking in the oven. I'm so excited, then I'm gonna eat it. I'm so excited to eat the pizza. Hey, make a pizza. <laughs> I'm making pizza in the oven now. It's got some tomatoes and pepperoni. I made the cheese from fucking scratch. Hey, make a pizza. Is it wrong of me to assume that people who are being pedantic are dudes? Because I feel like it's a pretty accurate, uh, you know, a credo, right? The pizza macarena. <laughs> oh shit, what cup am I on? God damn it. I guess I just gotta cut up all these motherfuckers and then just do it, right? You missed the cheese. You know what? This is what I'm talking about. Let's stop making the internet a, a quagmire of assumption. You could say, hey Timmy, did you make the cheese yet? To which I would say, no, you're just in time. I'm gonna win a little bit. Maybe I can be in Space Casino. Please let me join your band called Space Casino. Uh, please let me join your band called Space Casino. We could tour Nevada, go to Reno. We could also uh, go swimming in a Speedo. Hey, Space Casino. See? No, 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 I don't have a cold sore. I have a canker sore. Those are ulcers. Salty Timmy, that's just Timmy at this point. As long as Space Casino gets ska. You know, every once in a while, I think most people here are aware of the ska band I was in high school. We used to talk about it a lot uh, back when Trevor uh, was still around before he uh, faked his death and moved to Cuba with Tupac. Um, oh shit, I wasn't supposed to reveal that. Anyways, uh, um, so yeah, I was at a ska band in high school. And, you know, I uh, put in a mix CD the other day that had us on it. Because, you know, sometimes I actually want to listen to it and get reminiscent, you know? And I was like, you know, it's not that bad. Like, it's pretty good. Yeah. Space Casino could be a Cowboy Bebop reference. Yeah, they do. They do go to space casinos. I was just, you know, you're right. Last Jedi I did it too. But yeah, uh, they do have space casinos at Cowboy Bebop. That was a great show. I'm not an anime guy at all, but that was. I've only seen like that and like Akira and then uh, a bunch of the uh, Miyazaki stuff. But hugs are special. Salami Dahmer. That was not my uh, ska band from high school. Hugs Are Special was when I lived in Portland, and my uh, buddies Danny and Mike were... Uh, Danny's an insanely talented bass player, and Mike is an extremely talented guitarist, and they got a really, really good drummer, and they started making some kind of metal stuff. They're like, would you like to do some improvised lyrics just for the hell of it? I'm like, fuck yeah. And it was a lot of fun. Do you have a chef's knife? Can we pitch in one for you? No, because I do have one. But uh, serrated works better for tomatoes, so that's why I do it. But thank you for offering. I'm almost done seeing this tomato. Good God, I fucking hate doing this. Hey, fuck tomatoes. I guess I could really fuck tomatoes. I'm making all these big soft holes. You could just put your dick inside one. Hey, fuck tomatoes. What's your favorite my favorite Ghibli film? You know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fucking hipstery and, and pick a less popular one. But um, you know, my daughter and I watch a bunch of them, and they're great. There's so many great ones. 
but one that I expected to be a lesser Ghibli film and then fucking loved was Ponyo. Ponyo, 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 fishy in the sea. Uh, you know, uh, but it's a weird ass story and it's, uh, it never stops being weird. And uh, I, I think it's great. Okay, I think I'm fucking, no, there's more seating, good God. I have not seen the one with the pig that flies an airplane, though. I'm sure if I saw that one, Parco Rossi or something, I'm sure that would be my favorite, just because that's obviously my shit. You know? Love talking pigs. Love babe. Love babe pig in the city. Love when people find out that it's babe pig in the city was directed by the guy who did Max Fury Road. George Miller. Australia. So, yeah. Your name is Babe? Yeah, dude. George Miller, uh, he wrote or produced the first Babe, and then he directed Babe, Pig in the City. He also is the creator of Mad Max. He's made all four Mad Max films. Um, he also... Wrote, I think wrote, but definitely directed the Happy Feet movies, the, the little cute penguin movies. So the guy has a fucking... I love him. I love that he does it. You know what I mean? Like, once Zach gets a few horror movies under his belt, I would love for him to just pivot into a fucking kid's movie. Um, it, you know, it's just so funny. You know what? Yes, I actually do mean that. Now that I think about it, it's like, I really want to see what Zach's version of a children's movie would be. It would probably still be a horror movie, you know. Do you know Jesse Thorne? He loves Babe Pig in the City. Yes, I know him a little bit. We did a show once many, many years ago. And I think I've maybe... Uh, I I am very good friends with some of his... Like, we have some mutual friends and stuff. And I think I've maybe chatted back and forth with him on Twitter a few times or something. But anyways, yeah, he's a cool dude. Uh, he loves Babe Pig in the City. Well, he's a smart guy, you know. It's a great movie. It's fucking bizarre. It's, uh, you know, heartwarming and bizarre and uh, funny, you know. And uh, I think I've told this story not that long ago, but uh, the first Happy Feet movie, which, again, also by George Miller, Sam and I went to see it, and I'm pretty sure we got stoned first. And we saw it, it would have been after the show was out, so, you know... Uh, between prepping seasons, after you're, you know, you write and then you prep a season, then you shoot the show, well, you have some downtime. And so there was a month or two every year where we just really didn't have to do anything. And so Sam and I, well, Trevor and Zach were probably editing uh, the show and stuff, but we didn't get as involved in it. So Sam and I would go have fun sometimes. And so we went and saw Happy Feet when it came out. And it was like an afternoon screening on like a Thursday. And uh, if you're asking what I'm making, if only there's a square on screen or multiple uh, things written under the video. Anyways, uh, so we went and uh, saw Happy Feet at a theater in like Lincoln Center or somewhere. And uh, it was like me and Sam stoned and then a bunch of parents and little kids. That was it. So it was a lot of fun. Okay, now I can use the badass knife for the garlic. Talk about Japan. Here we go. Timmy, say my name a bunch of times and it feels cool. Do you mean your, like, screen name or your actual name? Is your name Timmy? Is your name Macarena? What is it? I just want to say De Beers, Olivia. Uh, I have a good De Beers story, too, and I know I've told this before, but it's it's worth repeating. So, De Beers from the, uh, who is the name of my character in the Call of Duty sketch. We named my character that because many, many years ago, uh, when we were kind of prepping the first couple seasons of the show, uh, Whitest Kids, we would play uh, Call of Duty together, right? And we, always, we already had a little bit of a following because we had put some stuff on YouTube and stuff before we had a TV show. And so we had a few fans. And somehow, this uh, kid who liked us uh, ended up playing Call of Duty with us every once in a while. And his name was Bears, and he was clearly very young. We were like, are you old enough to watch this show? Because he was like 10 or 11. And he uh, would talk to him like, Mom, uh, I'll be right back. And he would like always ask him questions like, do you guys should do this or that? You know, it was really cute, right? 
Oh, your name is George Miller? That's great. Great name. Anyways, so he, uh, he was like that. You remember? He was a little kid, so who cares? Like, you know, and, uh, so he named him the Bears. And then a long time later, I think we were still, we were still making the show, but it was, uh, you know, that sketch, I believe, was in season three. And so this is, uh, you know, a year or two later. And guy in a hat, you're not, well, you are far off, but you're kind of on track of the story, though. Guy in a hat said he turned out to be Machine Gun Kelly. No, but years later, I was playing Xbox, and for the first time in a long time, the Bears has logged on. So I was like, what's up, the Bears? And I hear back, yo, what's up, Timmy? I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> Cut, motherfucker hit puberty, right? And I was like, how you doing? I haven't seen you on here in a while. I was like, well, I got really into like football and sports and stuff. Once I got into high school, and I was like, oh, cool. Um, I was like, so did you see that sketch? He's like, yeah, I thought it was really funny, man. I'm like, okay, cool, thank you. Because you sound like you could beat the shit out of me. <laughs> it's just so funny. He's like this little kid that we made fun of, and then like, you know, four, three, four years go by, and he just gets, like, he sounded like he was fucking jacked, right? I think he lived in Michigan or somewhere, and, you know, Big football state, and uh, so he was, uh, you know. And if you don't know, if you're not familiar with the Midwest very much, like, motherfuckers get big out here, you know? We're all fed on corn and cream, and I don't need fat like me, but they're just some giant fucking people, you know? Uh, so, uh, you know, he just sounded like he's, like, a giant guy, and I was like, oh, God. But no. He took time off to stalk you. No, he's all right. Okay, so... In medium pot, heat the olive oil to medium low, two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin, just like me. Once you get to hit 40, then you're just extra virgin. Just kidding, I have a child, I have proof. Okay. Tablespoons, all right? Okay. I guess I could be heating the cheese now. That's what I should do. I'm gonna start heating the cheese while I heat the olive oil. And get the, uh... Okay. Pat Turner, how you doing? Bovine growth hormone. Rennet, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rennet will not be in play tonight, though. Oh, I gotta cut up the, gar uh, the basil leaves, though. I guess I don't have to. Yeah, we'll just have the leaves. All right, cool. What's up, Batman's rubber underwear? Okay. So I just need uh, five leaves of basil here. Okay. Oh, we don't need this fucking second camera on anymore. Jesus Christ. Jake, right. Okay. Three. Wait, that's kind of just two, though, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the basil I left out, uh, not in the fridge last night, but it smells real fucking good. Yeah, I fucking love basil so much. I'm deeply sorry that I said chill, meant none of what you said. You're awesome. Okay, well, thank you. But, you know, the thing is, is like, just don't, yeah, you know, it's like, uh, let me be me, especially on my own show on our channel. And it's like, when I'm sassy and stuff and digging at people and going crazy about things, like, it's part of, I'm kind of playing it up to just, like, have fun. Because a lot of people enjoy it. And also, it's like, don't worry about it. I'm cool. You know, it's fine. I got it. So I don't need instructions. I also just hate being told what to do. So if I, uh, I will, maybe uh, me timing you out was overdoing it, but uh, whatever. We're all buddies now. Hugs and kisses. I'd mail you some pizza if I could. Do you like the Schumacher Bat movies? You know what, uh, Batman movies? You know what? I have not uh, seen them in so long that I bet I would enjoy them. And my daughter has seen... Uh, every, uh, just about every other Batman movie, uh, let's see. She's seen the two Michael Keaton ones, loved those. Uh, she's seen all the Christian Bale ones. Uh, we both love the Robert Pattinson one, don't want to talk about it, don't care if you don't like it. Um, and Adam West, I'm a huge, I'm a big fan of the Adam West Batman. I think in a lot of ways, Adam West is literally the best version, live action version of Batman that they've done. In some ways. Obviously some of the other ones are great too. And the, there's other aspects of Batman that some of the other versions are best at. Um, the Lego Batman movie, for instance, is one of the only ones where Batman experiences character growth. 
you know? He does a little bit in the Christian Bale stuff, but um, that's about it. But anyways, uh, so I am wondering if maybe I would really enjoy the Schumacher Batman movies, though. You know, because I appreciate the silly shit, but, you know... When you're in your, like, teens and 20s and you're a nerd, you get really serious about stuff. Like, I was like, I don't like the prequels, and now it's like, they're fine. You know, and, like, uh, stuff like that. But, um, you know, so I was like, these Batman movies are silly, but I bet I would fucking enjoy them now. You're leaving, Abby Sally? What the hell's wrong with you? Have you seen Italian Spider-Man? I have not. Saute garlic gently for three or four minutes. Okay. Let's get the milk going, and then we're going to get the camera on the milk. Because this is where shit gets weird. Making cheese. This is like, you know, this is where shit gets kind of fancy and crazy. Making goddamn cheese, right? Fuck yeah, motherfuckers. Goddamn it, shit. Forever is almost good, but not quite. Batman and Robin is so bad. I know, but it's like, great. <laughs> Stir the milk on the stove in a stainless steel kettle, heating very gently at 55 degrees. Add the citric acid. At 88, it should begin to curdle. Okay, so... So we're going to use citric acid and some vinegar. We're going to pour this whole motherfucking gallon in there. And I'm going to switch back to the two camera shots so you guys can, you know. All right. So so let's just say that uh, Trevor just showed Chester's horse a picture of a stegosaurus. Right? Get those buckets, get those buckets. Get those buckets out there, the paint buckets. Oh man, is this too much for this? Oh fuck yeah, glug, 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 bitches. There we go. Alright, so what you do is you gotta warm this shit up nice and slow. So, left rear, we're gonna do that. Alrighty, in the meantime, Need a quarter cup of cool water and dissolve the citric acid in there, okay? So. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Where the fuck did I put my water? Okay, I have a Brita filter I'm gonna use. Just because I try to keep things pretty clear and uh, with as much shit not in it as I can when I'm making cheese, you know? Okay, so meanwhile, I'm not burning the garlic. Hopefully. Gently saute the garlic for a few minutes. All right, so we're almost there. Okay, so this was used for what? The dough or something? I don't even know what I used that for. Don't worry, I have lots of implements. It's okay. All right. I did all my dishes before this, so. Okay, stir the milk on the stove in the stainless steel kettle. The kettle. It's not stainless steel, whatever. Heating very gently. At 55 degrees, add the citric acid solution and mix thoroughly. Okay, citric acid. So, if you want this, citric acid is not hard to find. Rennet is hard to find, but like we're hopefully going to find out, you can do it without rennet. Um, citric acid, go to the pickling area of a uh, grocery store, or like Menards, you know, kind of a, a farm kind of supply sort of store, you know. They have, you know, a lot of those farm supply stores have stuff for raising chickens. They have stuff for like... You know, pickling. No fucking cheese gear. Come on, get your cheese gear in gear. Anyways. Oops, this is the wrong fucking measurement. I want one and a half. There we go. One, half, one, one and a half. Okay. Now I need to get a thermometer out to check out this milk. Anarts? No, Menards. Reddit is not that hard to find, unfortunately. Man, you guys are all, uh, you guys love Sam jokes. Okay, so, the, uh, some of the garlic's kind of brown. That's okay. I don't mind that to my sauces anyways. But let's get that going while the milk heats up, and I'll grab our thermometer. Okay, so, saute garlic gently for three or four minutes. Add fresh tomatoes, salt, basil, and oregano to pan and slowly simmer for 30 minutes. You got it. There goes a whole bunch of fucking tomatoes. Okay. 
Yeah, some of them are fucking, you know? They're like old people at a key party. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, uh, half teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm gonna need another half teaspoon. That one's used in being in weird stuff. Okay. Ooh, that's like all that's left in here. Okay. Alrighty. Um, what else do I need to put in there? Half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Yeah, okay, I have a camera aimed at the milk right now, which is boring, but so it will get less boring soon. But there, that's better right now. Okay, so add fresh tomatoes, salt, basil, and oregano to pan, and slowly simmer. Okay. The thing is, is I'm going to blend all this, so it's okay that the leaves are like just it leaves, you know? So. Oh my god. This is the kind of thing, now, I just mentioned, I've been mentioning a few times tonight already, I get bad canker sores. And I, lately, I've gotten them uh, often, I, I don't understand why. But, um, the, uh, the shitty thing about it is tomatoes are, or, uh, tomatoes, canker sores are ulcers. And, you know, acid helps compound the problems there. And so, tomatoes is one of those things that I really shouldn't eat very often, but I do. And I was once told by a kind of weirdo witch doctor sort of person, uh, but they had some good thing, good ideas about allergies, and they said, a lot of the times the food you crave are the things you're allergic to. Which is rad, right? I kind of like that. It's weird. I like it when shit's weird, you know? What the fuck is this to? Oh, that's to the milk. All right. I don't need that anymore. Okay, let's get a thermometer. I'm gonna use a candy thermometer if I can fucking find it. Here we go. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna put that here. And we want it to 55 degrees, which I can't even like see because there's so much milk in there. You can't even see that on there, whatever. We're just gonna keep heating it. And once it's kind of warm, I'll put the citric acid in there. Maybe you're right, J uh, John and Design. You crave it because you never eat it because you're allergic to it. Yeah, yeah. Sound theory. Okay, so in the meantime, it's possible this citric acid will do this. So, well, the citric acid basically is going to start the job, right, of, of separating the curds from the whey. Uh, but we're going to need to add vinegar eventually, so I'm going to get that going here. Now, this is maybe, you know, I have a slight amount of German in my blood. I also am a Midwesterner in the Northern Plains, so maybe that's why, because we fucking love pickles up here. But man, I love the smell of vinegar. It's, it's good. I like it. Yeah, I have a little bit of German ancestry. Man, I was looking at a family tree. The guy, the one German dude had such a good name. I can't, like, I can't remember. His first name was so fucking good. I can't remember. Anyways, so we're going to let that go for like 30 minutes. I am going to time this. Uh, I'll just do 25. It's already been going on for a while. Okay, cool. All right, so it's time to focus on the cheese, which is a great sentence. Nah, it's still cold. So we're going to kind of turn up the heat a little bit. It's a lot of milk. And hopefully I didn't get ultra pasteurized milk. I think it was regular pasteurized because then we'll be fucking screwed. Okay, no, we're good. Oh, a pinch of sugar is supposed to go into this mix. Oh, okay. Use a hand blender to mix? Uh, I, I kind of want to just put in the blender blender, but... I understand they're trying to be very gentle with the ingredients, so I guess that makes sense. What about the little bit of fart sounds from when the spoon scrapes the bowl? Doesn't that look great? That looks great. Okay. Like, you can tell that when that is all fucked up and chopped up and obliterated, it's going to be some good-ass sauce, right? So, uh, okay, we got some vinegar ready. We got some citric acid ready. So, I'm going to just kind of clean up and chat a little bit while we kind of 
get stuff going. We need the milk to start doing its thing, and then I'm going to pour the ingredients in, and then things are really going to get interesting. But um, so if this works, the problem is the rennet really makes it separate well in a nice uh, organic way, but um, you can do it without it. And once it starts, it gets, it's crazy, man. It's, it's pretty cool, you know? It's fucking science, you know? And it's delicious science, which is the best kind of science. And actually, besides the, the tomato sauce is the only non-fascinating thing going on here, you know? Because like pizza dough, yeast, and all that stuff, that's fucking fascinating. I was talking about earlier when I used to do this all the time about 10 years ago, 11, 12 years ago. Um, I had my own like special vial of really, really good yeast. And uh, I would also make ginger beer. And what you do with that, it was a bunch of sugar and water and yeast. And then you cut up ginger and you put it in a two liter bottle and an empty two liter soda bottle, screw the cap back on and just sit it up in a dark place in the cupboard. And then it's done when the bottle's firm because that's fermenting the yeast. And it was very slightly, it's not meant to be like a booze, but very slightly alcoholic, um, but really delicious, you know. Yeah, you know what? You're right. So who, who said that? Uh, Principal rolls. Yeah, uh, tomatoes are fascinating. That's a good point. I don't have a hand blender, you know, so I'm not going to use it. I'll just throw it in the blender blender when it's time, but um, it is, uh, it, that'd be a cool thing to get. Okay, the milk's starting to get warm, so I'm going to, I think it's time to put in the citric acid. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be stirring this too, shit. All right, let's get away from the tomatoes for a little bit and go back over here. Yeah. All right, so I'm supposed to be stirring this so it doesn't burn, oops. So now... Um, and let's maybe see, maybe the thermometer is going to tell us something here. Okay, it's almost to 100. Shit, so i got to move fast. Here we go. So, citric acid. There goes the citric acid. All right, so we're going to get make sure it's all scraped out of there. Rubber spatulas are a great invention for really getting every last bit of a sauce or any kind of mixture you need to get into something else. It's a great way to do it. You can already tell it's starting to kind of do stuff a little bit, right? So we're going to keep this going. And I probably should have been stirring it more, but that's okay. This is an experiment. As I've said before tonight, uh, I do have emergency mozzarella. <laughs> okay, so... Stir... Gently stir it a little bit... Okay, okay, so actually I'm gonna do the, the vinegar now too. Okay, vinegar's in there now too. And we're gonna, we want it, we don't want it to get very warm. So we only want it to get just over, where the fuck did I put the, okay. We only want it to get just over 100. So, we're gonna let that happen. Um, yeah, you can already tell, look at that, it's starting. Oh my God, it's so exciting. Look at that, you can tell just a little bit. But you got some fucking chunks starting to go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at on the on the spoon or on the spatula. See that? Fuck yeah. Find me one other sketch comedian that does this shit, right? I know Michael Palin does a lot of cool shit. Goes around the world in hot air balloons and stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't do that. Can he make cheese? Probably. I bet he can. I bet it's really good too. But he does he do it on Twitch? You're called out, Michael. He's probably my favorite python. Um, anyways. What do you think? Do any of the kids in the hall make cheese? Canadians seem like they could make cheese. Kevin, Kevin McDonald. We actually, uh, between all the whitest kids we've met, all of them or most of them or something. Uh, he's a really good guy. He's a great guy. Um, but uh, I don't know. Maybe he can make cheese. You're the only person I know who makes cheese. You're right. It doesn't happen very often, does it? Okay, I gotta be stirring this more, but you know what? I can almost just cook the tomatoes down into the sauce by themselves, which if anybody has like Italian relatives, let me know, but isn't that really how they fucking do it? Like with sauce and stuff? They just cook tomatoes down for fucking ever, right? Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so it's starting to happen. I think I need to maybe put in a little bit more vinegar. And we want to keep it around, let's see. Okay, 
gently stirring the lemon. Continue to heat the milk just over 100 degrees. Okay. The way should be clear. If it's still milky, wait a few minutes. All right, cool. Just cook the piss out of the tomatoes. Yeah, you just cook them down the full peeled tomatoes. That's, oh, I didn't peel them. Oh, well. This didn't say to peel them. I suppose that's why they say use a hand blender. If you want to talk traditional Italian, it shouldn't include tomatoes. Tomatoes are native to the Americas. It's the first time I've ever heard that, but, uh, you yeah. know. Not saying you're a liar, just uh, that's amazing. I've never heard that before. Also, you're a fucking liar. So I'm probably gonna blend this in, but well, let's say cook it for a while. I mean, this is really gonna get all those flavors uh, blended in. But the tomatoes, uh, the view you have is of the milk. Hopefully starting to turn it, oh yeah, look at it, fuck yes. It's gonna work. It's gonna maybe be kind of slow, but it's gonna work. I put a little more vinegar, but it's gonna work. The fountain of youth is probably in the peels of stuff. I think Mythic or somebody just said that. I like that idea. I missed how the cheese gets made. Is it just milk and vinegar? Says Nate. Okay, well, it could just be milk and vinegar. Mine has a little citric acid in it, too. Also, I got whole milk, because the more fat, the better cheese is going to be. Thank you, Spoon Tree. A European. Italy didn't exist as a nation until the 1860s, so Europe had tomatoes longer than it's had Italy. All right. Milk and lemon juice, then add check chunks to your mouth. Oh, yeah, I never listen to boner hog farts, ever, for any reason. Okay, learned that a long time ago. Can you guys see what's going on here? Really starting with the curds, separating from the whey. Fucking Little Miss Tuffet shit. And you can tell it's slowly happening. I might put in a bit more vinegar to speed up the process a little bit, but... um. Uh, so the, the, the liquid part is going to start clearing up because we're pulling all of that, uh, you know, the milky fat stuff out of it. And now what you could do with the whey, if you wanted to, it would take a fucking long time, but you could make ricotta with it. Um, you could also just feed it to animals. It's uh, really high in protein and good for like dogs, cats, cows, whatever. Or maybe not cows. Yeah, I suppose cows could. Anyways. Uh, can you season cheese or does that screw up the process? No, I would be putting some salt in it. You gotta put a little salt in it. So, whoa! I might need to microwave it a little bit at some point when I'm uh, mushing it together to make it into mozzarella, but I uh, might just be able to warm it up in the curds as well. Okay, so I also want to keep this, like it said, a little bit over 100, which is about where it is, so we're going to keep doing that. Look at that, it's really starting to form. So right now, this is uh, getting a cottage cheese level, and I feel like this is taking too long. You know what? It's because I'm not using rennet. Rennet is really the fucking key here. Oh, yeah. I forgot that this happens with this uh, thermometer. Duh. There we go. Fuck yeah. All right. Cool. Um, frosted curd. Very good. Uh, where did I put the vinegar? Okay. This vinegar, it's big. I use it to clean stuff. I use it to cook with. Someday I'll make pickles. Did you see when the vinegar went in there? Look, there's like uh Wow, it's really happening. Do I, have I ever taken any culinary classes? No. Everything I do, which I don't think any of it is that impressive, but uh, self-taught, bitches. Um, and I guess I could put in more citric acid, too. I don't want to have too citrusy of a taste. But I do kind of want to speed this shit up a little bit. 
But I mean, it's happening. Look at that. Let me go get a slotted spoon to really show you guys. I don't think there's any cynics left, but, uh, or, uh, not cynics, what's the word? Yeah, maybe cynic is the right word. Someone you have to prove shit to. Is that a cynic, right? I can't remember. Skeptic! Skeptic! If there's any skeptics. Look! Look at that! Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Principal roll says whoa. Yeah, and that's a that's a crazy thing about this. Like, here's the thing: is this is kind of I guess it's all taking a little while. It's uh I don't even know what time it is. Uh, seven five. Okay. So I was hoping to be done in a half an hour. That's not gonna happen. But so it's all kind of taking a long time. Here's the thing though: is like, this isn't hard. None of this is hard, right? And like, I'm hard. I've hardly done anything to this milk, and it's turning into fucking cheese. So. One of the great things about making stuff yourself is uh, expanding your relationship with food and learning how it really fucking works, and it's, it's just not as difficult as you think. And in fact, the reason I even got to uh, try this at all, and I still use the same recipe, it's from a book called Animal Vegetable Miracle by a lady named Barbara Kingsolver, who's a novelist, but she's a, a weirdo on the side like me about food and stuff. And so, uh, years ago, her and her, I think, two kids and her husband uh, bought a little farm in Virginia somewhere, and they decided for a year to only eat food they could cultivate themselves or get within, like, a five-mile radius or something. And they each got to pick one thing uh, that you couldn't get locally that they could keep. Like, she picked salt, her husband picked coffee, you know. But so, um, you know, so uh, making cheese is one of the things they did. And uh, one thing I love about it is... You know, after the 50s, you know, World War II ended, we had all this DDT for making weapons that we didn't um, know what to do with, so we turned it into in uh, uh, pesticide and started uh, huge, giant factory farms, right? And so local places, like where I live, uh, the farmers stopped growing carrots and stuff for the people around and started growing huge swaths, like thousands of acres of corn to ship off somewhere to either feed other cows or turn to Coca-Cola, whatever. You know, and so then the food that we got was like shipped or canned or whatever. And so people in the 50s, you know, 50s were so weird and squeaky clean. And one thing about it is that they were just using, you know, they, they love like, you know, canned and everything's homogenized and fucking pasteurized and uh, processed within an inch of its life. And so, you know, we really lost our relationship with food that way, you know. And um, it's great to be able to try and track it down sometimes, like... It really makes you appreciate, even if you, you know, even like in that lady's case, they were still killing animals. They had turkeys and stuff, and they butchered them, whatever. But um, y you even still appreciate everything you're doing when you actually are fucking doing it, you know? Oh, St Starlight Sammy and Boner Hawk Farts. Yes, this is truly a straight-edge pizza crew moment. For anyone that doesn't know what I'm, that means, a long time ago when I streamed on my own channel, I don't even know what it was called anymore. I think it was Teamy Weems. Anyways... Oh, I know what it was called. Don't say it, because I had some information. Anyways. Um, so, uh, we decided that, you know how, like, we call you guys Whore Town? Well, back when I streamed uh, by myself, we called my people Straight Edge Pizza Crew. And so this milk is still staying right at just a little bit over 100. Now, Starlight Sammy, pipe in here, because I know you have lived a farm life. And uh, used to, I, I believe you used to do some stuff like this, didn't you? Now, Starlight Sammy, when you used to uh, follow me as Straight Edge straight Pizza Crew, you were like a kid, so I'm assuming you're a grown-up now, right? Anyways. Your mom has cows and chickens. Okay. Didn't someone in your family have a helicopter? Okay, I don't want to reveal too much information about you, but I'm pretty sure you at, once, at one point said you like got to ride in a helicopter for some reason? Anyways. Mythic says, I never order food. I don't trust people handling what I'm going to, eat, going to eat. Well, I mean, I would suggest that because you also, uh, another thing about relationships with food, when we live in a modern, globally connected society, is to like, hey, I'm going to fucking try sushi even though I live in Watertown. We have a very good sushi place for being landlocked, you know? It's uh, run by a nice family. Uh, 
they're from New Jersey. I believe they're originally from China, I think, but um, really good folks. And uh, it was, the, the sushi place was started by another lady. Her mom got sick in China. She had to leave. And so these guys came in, but they're fucking great people, and the sushi's really good. You know? Yes, there was a helicopter. Okay, that's awesome. Anyways, very cool. So, yeah, you can tell that's happening. I mean, look at that shit, man. That's great. Okay. So I'm going to start moving the curds out of there. Let's get fucking serious. Let me get this uh, bowl washed out. I'm going to use this bowl here. But you know, I hope that uh, whoever suggested a thousand years ago, uh, back when I did zucchini boys all the time, I hope whoever suggested I make pizza from scratch is watching and is happy because it's... I mean, we're not even close to doing it yet, you know, but uh, the ingredients are happening. Oh, you mean the delivery people? Mythic, okay. Well, yeah, but delivery people, like, I, mean, I don't know, like Domino's, they don't fucking touch your food. They have the box. Although a lot of times they also cooked it. I used to work at a Domino's. One of my favorite old school Onion articles is everyone involved in uh, ordering... Uh, cooking and delivering pizza, hi. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so we're gonna start getting these motherfuckers out of here. Um, and actually, I might, uh, I might up my game here and impress you guys even more. Right. Yeah, you like that bowl? So my uh, parents, They've kind of cooled off on this in recent years, but for a while they were kind of like becoming sweet junkers. They'd go out and they'd just find the best shit, you know? Um, and they found me these bowls. My mom's like, yeah, they're probably worth a lot of money. I'm like, I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna use them, they're good, you know? Um, yes, they look cool and vintage and all that stuff, but they're fucking, you could, you could, yo, someone come over and try and rob me right now. I can fucking kill you with this bowl. It's thick. It's not gonna break. I could fucking club you to death with this. Like, these things take some shit. This will be around after me. You know what I mean? This whole motherfucker, this whole house will be ash. You know? Uh, in like, uh, you know, three or four years uh, when everybody dies. And uh, this bowl will still be here. Alright. So, let's get serious. Let's get dangerous. Duck, wing, duck. When there's trouble, you call DW. Duck, wing, duck. Let's get dangerous. Duck, wing, duck. Okay. So the reason you wanted to microwave it is to uh, keep it stretchy. Oh my god. Can you guys see this is what's crazy about this to me, is like, you can watch, like, just as I'm sitting here doing this, like, the cheese is happening, you know what I mean? Like, you can fucking watch cheese happen. And think how, think about this. How many of you, probably all of you, if not almost all of you, uh, have never seen this, right? Until I first made this, I'd never seen something like this. And it's like, people used to do this shit all the time. They came up with cheese to, because their milk was going bad. They still needed to fucking eat. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, it's just amazing to me. You can just, let's just watch fucking cheese happen. You know what I mean? It's great. You love a good sharp hard cheese. Well, that's not what's going to happen here. But uh, this is soft cheese. And I now took a lot of the curds out, so I'm going to have to keep going here. I might have to crank it up a little bit or maybe do a little more citric acid and vinegar to keep the... Uh, process going, you know? And I've got the curds with one hand. I'm going to stir the pizza sauce with the other hand, which I think is about ready to be done. Just get blended. What is it? Nah, i got a few minutes left. It hardly needs to get blended. Look at that. It's going to be fucking good. This pizza, okay. So the emergency mozzarella, which it seems like, I don't want to jump the gun here. It seems like I will not need the emergency mozzarella. But I got fancy stuff. I also got kind of fancy-ish pepperoni. So, and you can see, if you're watching the second camera, you can see the clear liquid starting, right? 
Because we're getting all them curds out of that fucking way, baby. You know? This is fucking real shit here. And so I'm doing this with a strainer and a slotted spoon. And now when I get in this bowl, there's still some fucking liquid in here. So we're going to get rid of that. Uh, there will be cheesecloth happening, I think. You know. And I, I'm not looking at all your comments to answer the questions I was asking, like, who here has never seen this before? But, uh, I mean, you know, this is just one of those things. I don't, I'm not trying to get too preachy. I feel like I've been kind of preachy there, but whatever. Uh, this is like, what it's, this is like fucking, this is like joie de vivre, man. This is like fucking interaction with the universe. You know what I mean when you do stuff like this? I'm not trying to get too high hoity toity about making fucking pizza cheese, but, you know what I mean? Like, not enough people do this shit anymore. You go on Twitter and you fucking start feuds with people because of your... Uh, you like the elephant guy, I like the donkey guy. But, you know, uh... And there is only right answer, one right answer to that, but, uh... <laughs> but, uh... It's just, you know, people lose something when you, you know, when you get away from this kind of stuff. Because this is, you know, there's there is some nature in this. I mean, you know, vinegar can naturally occur, the mother and all that stuff. Uh, you know, citric acid and whatnot. So, like, this is, like, real shit, and not enough people experience stuff like this, you know? And I'm going to make another round of this cheese with my daughter, who has not made cheese before, and she'll be fucking stoked, you know? So... Chris Coe says to hold on and hang on. Those daytime cooking show hosts need to start insulting their audience more. Hold on. I'm not insulting. I only fucking go after the fucking assholes who want me to go after them, but then pretend they didn't. You know, that's what trolls are. But, um, anyways. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so I forget what exactly the next step is here. Um, because there's, okay, so there is, uh, still some whey in these curds here. You can see there's still liquid, um, but a lot of it is whey, so that is fucking cool, but, uh, I almost feel like, uh, how hot are, oh, man, we're getting too hot over here, and I'm dripping fucking whey onto my other burner. Um, uh, okay, so we're gonna, now it's time to start with the hands. When I take the hands like this, it's like the five bubbles. You know, it's really going to be sad if I look at that dough and it's not fucking risen at all. I guess I could look at that now, too. We'll do that together. Yeah, I feel like the I feel like it's stalled out a little bit, but I definitely have enough to get some cheese made. Okay, first of all, let's do this. We'll get back to cheese in a moment. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm so glad it like is working. All right, so it does seem like it raised, rose, risen. Yeah, not too bad. Does this stream end with an ASMR mukbang? I have no fucking idea what you mean. But yeah, I know that you always like to talk about AM ASMR, Sammy, but I don't know what mukbang is. I feel like I've heard it somewhere before. I don't know. Okay. Oh, dude, there were so many more tomatoes. <laughs> I think I had enough, though. All right. I guess I can do it again. Get your tomatoes, chop them up and put them on the saucepan. Get them going, put all the shit in there. Get together and do it again. I bet no one who's watching expected me to sing Latter Day Beach Boys because they weren't very good, even though they had Uncle Jesse. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Did you guys see my feet? Oh, over here? Oh, yeah, look, there. Everybody's getting off on the feet. Everybody have a good come to my feet. <laughs> oh, man, one of my daughters at her sleepover and they're watching this right now. All those fucking kids will be traumatized. 
Margaret, your dad is a fucking crazy person! Do, 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 Maybe I should do more citric acid? Excuse me, Jesus, what a pig. All right, that was weird. I haven't even eaten anything in hours. Okay. Anyone else? Hey, I think my daughter's given me French braids before. I definitely do pigtails sometimes. Most people here know that, I think. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, that cheese is really starting to do stuff. Now, I don't want to burn it, though. I don't want to burn anything. I feel like I'm burning the tomatoes. We just need to keep this shit going. It's going. Alright. Alright, I'm being annoying. Sorry. That's why you guys are here anyways. I apologized for being annoying and then did something so much more annoying. Alright? Can you tell, as soon as the cheese started working, I got a little excited and like weird and little kitty, right? I feel like I did. Not gonna apologize. Back together and do it again. Dip, dip, da da dip. Dip, dip. This is why I put an extension cord right over here. So I can do the shit right in front of you. You can see it and imagine that the blender is filled with little tiny dead babies. Ready? All right, my friends. Uh, first of all, I'll show you this. I hope it's not too soupy. Oh, it does not look too soupy. All right, do you guys want some ASMR here? That maybe looks not soupy enough. Well, no, it's gonna be good tomato sauce, isn't it? Yeah, good pizza sauce. It's pretty thick, but man, that's gonna be fucking delicious, if I do say so myself. I could even blend it a little more, but it's fine. <sighs> Oh yeah, thank you, Implicate. I don't say that enough anymore. This sauce is really thick and stiff. Meanwhile, I'm gonna fuck up the milk, so I gotta get back over to that. Thick and stiff. You gotta, you gotta get the sauce thick and stiff. Very thick and very stiff. You gotta get it all right. You gotta get the sauce thick and stiff. Should I just start uh, talking like Halle Berry and Monsters Ball? Like, you gotta make me feel good! Can you make me feel good? That's the only part of that movie I've seen. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Fuck yeah, motherfuckers! Fuck yeah! Okay. So, uh... There's so much action I could show you. Let's go back over to the cheese cam. This is all cheese cam. 
All cheese cam is another cheese cheese to cheese the cheese. All cheese cam. That doesn't work as a parody. Alright. Oh. Is it not? Oh god, that is just a foot cam. Jesus Christ. Okay, so do I have good chunky salt? I don't think I do, but I don't need it, but it'd be fun to have it. It'd be really fun to remember the things I want before I do it. Oh, this salt's pretty good, though. Um, okay, so I need to squeeze the fucking feet for free. Yeah. Yeah, no more fucking pain for feet. Okay. All right, there's still a lot of this. Uh, it's still so much whey. All righty, I need to... I think I need to put it on cheesecloth. Press curds together uh, gently with hands to remove as much weight as possible. Microwave the curds on high for one minute, then knead the cheese again with hands or spoon to remove move more weight. Okay. So. You know, I think I remember how I did this before. You know, the, the, the complicated part here is getting all that goddamn weight out of there, you know? So. But the cool thing is, the emergency mozzarella, which is kind of fancy, it was mozzarella pearls. Uh, I don't need it, so I can just eat it after the stream. Just eat it. Just kidding, I'll be eating this. Um, okay. So, that's what we're going to do. Put this in here. No. Wait. Do 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 yeah, this pizza is going to be busting. You're right, Sammy. That's not Sam, Sam. It's another Sam. Also a good Sam. A lot of good Sams. Butt stuff in your pussy. Oh, God! I just... Did I just break the handle of this? Pressing so hard? Shit. <laughs> Yo, thank you everybody for joining me on this experimental journey. What the fucking time is it? Alright, whatever. I still got so much left to do because I gotta make the... I gotta get the crust pounded out. Yeah, we're gonna pound it out on a Saturday night. There's a lot of working stuff with your hands tonight. That's what she said, bro. Okay, I think I gotta go to another bowl here and really get this stuff worked out. But I'm not gonna worry about the rest of it right now. I'm gonna focus on this bunch here. This should be enough mats to put on pizza, definitely. And uh, go from there. So I'm gonna get another bowl. Really get this fucking worked out. I might need to microwave this for just a few seconds to, uh, that doesn't like cheat. That's just to keep it uh, malleable, you know. Like when like uh, Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman are like fucking and like she's like, he's like comes fast because he's such a dork. I'm just kidding, dorks fuck the best. But anyway, so she's not done yet, right? She needs more and he's done. So she like puts his, she puts him in the microwave to zap him and kind of work his dick more, right? Nobody, nobody needed me to say that. Now I really hope my kid's not watching. Anyways. Twist it up and squeeze it. Oh, you're right, Nate. Thank you. 
I don't know. Like, let's none of us worry about how the fuck Nate knew anything about this. But um, you're right. That is why you have cheesecloth. That's what you're supposed to do. All right. Here's some fucking... This is some weird shit. This is stuff you don't see anywhere. Right? Unless you, like, go to hang out with Amish people or something, right? Nate, I wasn't mocking you. Oh, fuck, but I, like, exploded the... This is Kathy. Oh, <laughs> okay, now it makes sense. Their mom definitely knows how to do shit like this. I don't think I had enough a big enough piece of cheesecloth. Well, thank you, Kathy, for your tutelage. And I have done this before, but it's been a good 10 years. I was a much different and more unhappy place when I made this cheese, so it's good to relearn as a fully, almost fully formed human being. I use cheesecloth for wheat butter. Yeah, you know what's funny is like all these places sell cheesecloth but don't have like rennet or other cheese making stuff because you can use cheesecloth for so much other stuff. So, oh man, there's still a lot of way in here. Ugh, I think I maybe uh, jumped the gun a little bit. But I do want to get this fucking going though, man. Okay, it's still falling apart. Gotta keep working it. I'm just glad that it worked. Fresh mozzarella? Yeah. Fucking freshest. Right, it's still pretty much just like milky, soupy stuff, but it's good. You can definitely tell what's going to happen. Got a little bit of a vinegar taste to it, which is okay. Change a new cheesecloth, maybe? This is not a nice shirt. <laughs> but thank you, Power Load. Uh, all my shirt comes from, like, when a JCPenney closes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a fucking paper towel. Where's the... Like, I'm a fucking child. I really am. I like... Like, you're not gonna see me pay more than like five dollars for a shirt unless it's got like Jason or Luke Skywalker on it, you know? You know, Jason Skywalker, his brother, you guys know him? He'd hang out with Fred Christ. Fred Claus. Don't unfold the cheesecloth on the new piece. You want it double layer. Oh, okay. Too late. So, Kathy, have you done this before? Did Nate send you in here like Timmy's fucking up? He's been on forever. No, Nate wouldn't say that because Nate thinks four hours is fine for a stream. <laughs> I would love estate sales. Yeah, I've been to them. I was just saying earlier, my parents um, are all about that shit. That's where the bull came from. You have so many Jason shirts? I have one Jason shirt. I got it from Fright Rags. I got their, uh, I got into Fright Rags because I love Joe Bob, and Joe Bob was doing the Christmas special. And every year for the Christmas special, uh, they raise money for charity. And when you, you can buy, like, awesome exclusive merch. And I think Fright Rags does it every year. So I got uh, a hoodie and a Joe Bob and Darcy shirt and uh, mugs, or not mugs, beer glasses, so. You watch a lot of cheese making documentaries? That's amazing. I love you. All right. There's not as much liquid coming out of here anymore, so that's good. Okay. I need to, I do, I, I like really want to get going, get this moving here, especially since I haven't eaten dinner. I'm freaking out. Okay. I 
I've just got cheese curd on my microphone. Excuse me, where's the burping coming from? You met Joe, Bob, and Darcy? Cool. They seem like awesome people. Darcy, follow me back on Twitter. She's cool. I mean, that's not what it takes to be a cool person. But, uh, you know, it was nice of her. It's always interesting when someone you look up to and thinks is, like, very cool or they acknowledge you as a person in some way. Like, Wesley Sykes follows me. That was fucking weird. Yeah. Did I just make that cheese? Uh, yeah. I'm not quite done. But it's happening. This might be the most labor-intensive zucchini boys ever, but I promise you'll never have more satisfying pizza. You know, I've done this so many times, so I, I know. But thank you. I, I've made I've made cheese several times before. It's just been a long time. It's been a while since I took milk and poured weird shit in it. That was terrible. Nobody wanted that. Okay. Oh, there's still cloth in here. Great. <laughs> uh oh. And that's when Timmy made a cloth pizza. If you wish to make a pizza from scratch, you must first invent the universe. That's great. Wow, I like, I feel, I don't feel very good about this all of a sudden. Little cloth never hurt nobody. All right, all right. Kathy, your cheese documentary uh, skills or uh, knowledge. Tell me, just kind of, yeah, just do that, right? Yeah, okay. Are you making the pizza dough too? Pizza dough is made, but yes. And I also made the sauce. I did not make the pepperoni because I'm letting the pig live, you fucking bastard. <sighs> He's right over there just being a total shithead. They're always so rude. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Here we go. I am going to uh, zap this for a little bit, put some salt in it, and we'll just uh, have this chunk be my mozzarella for tonight. Barb? No, not Barb. Uh, a pig. No, I don't have Barb anymore. I'm in a house. I don't have a neighbor anymore. I could call the pig Barb. Hey, Barb! Stop eating the garbage! Go finish your wet cornflakes, Barb! Oh, man. I mean, this is very close to actual mozzarella now, you yeah? know? We're about done here. This poor oven's been heated up for fucking ever. It's okay, though. I mean, look at that, man. There's not even fucking... All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zap it for a little bit uh, to get it warmed up. Actually, there's another thing you can do to warm it up. It's going to be even cooler. I mean, I still yell at Barb. The two times... Oh, shit. I just, like, somehow flung a little bit of cheese curd into the salt, but we'll save that because I actually need it to be salty. Okay. I'm starting to get like fucking, I like, don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm starting to hallucinate. I need to make this food. Okay. Did y'all ever get a chihuahua named Lavender? It was Creeper Girl Next Door. I don't like, have I talked about that? On... Uh, no. Timmy, I picked up an acoustic guitar from 1980. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I gotta make this cheese and stop fucking around. Um, I just dropped a bunch of shit everywhere. I'm 
still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. All right. All right. I've begun getting impatient, and I want the stream to be over, and I want to eat. I mean, obviously, we've got to cook the pizza first, so I'm going to get that done. And I got cheese stuff everywhere. How's my night going? Pretty good, Rob of the East. Thank you for dropping in. At a very strange time. There's cheese happening. I did make it. Um, but now I gotta get all this stuff out of the way and uh, get some, uh, get the pizza rolled out here. Well, thank you, everybody who's coming in asking me questions. What have you been up to since Whitest Kids ended? But I feel like you're pranking me. Because if you're here, it's like you probably know we've been making a... We're doing stuff again. Uh, I have an animated movie we're trying to fund. And I have been in South Dakota doing my own thing since then as well. And I'm missing it when I ask people if they say their name. So if you did, sorry. Because I'm too busy being a fucking disaster. So. All right. Erno Tali, look, I really appreciate you, but like, you're kind of, that's kind of a pedantic thing to say. It's like, I know what I'm doing. And yes, you do realize it's a lot of work, but I'm also making it from scratch, you know? Restaurants don't even do this, some of them do. Unless you've done exactly this, maybe. But, I mean, I got it. I know what I'm doing. It's just fucking messy. And also, I think a lot of people don't understand that uh, when you're doing it while trying to talk and be somewhat entertaining, it's a whole new fucking level, you know? Seagoat Fort says, I'm here because my tab's broken. This is the only thing that is working. Well, you poor bastard. No, I. People need to ask more questions on the internet. Dark bastard, I love you. You said you're already on top of the cleaning. No, there's a reason I'm doing this right now. You could ask. And I think people who have worked with Dell will know. Um, but you'll find out in a moment why I'm doing this. I'm not doing it because I'm clean. Clean. <laughs> I'm a fucking slob. Okay. Who is that on your fridge? People, I don't know. I'm starting to not like these questions. No, thank you for everybody joining in. I'm not trying to be a dick, but some of the questions are a little too close. Um, but no, I, yeah, if you didn't know Mediocre Toast, that's okay. I'm just wondering because I feel like a lot of people that watch this, especially now at this point in time, would know what was going on, but um, I moved to South Dakota to the, back to South Dakota in 2011, and I have a daughter here, and normal jobs, and um, I am, um, oh, that's sugar. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're supposed to put a little sugar in the tomato stuff. A little bit in there. Um, so, oh, here's the flour. But so I do that, and then, uh, you know, in 2020, we started uh, streaming. Are you going to build a table to serve the pizza on? Yeah, I built this table, but not when you guys were here. No, I, no, I'm sorry. Yes, I built this uh, before I got here. Before before you got here. Where do you get your ideas from? Okay, now I know you guys are fucking with me, so I'm gonna stop answering questions. Okay, so. That's what you fucking get. All right, in the meantime, I, I do need to start, I do need to finish the cheese. 
because there's still a little whey coming out of it. I'm going to microwave for a little bit. God damn it. It just gets on everything. Uh. <sighs> Jesus. Ugh. Hands. Here we go. Don't get in his way. Very good pox wet. Oh, you're very welcome, Domino. So you're painting models. What kind of models are you painting? Did I build the new pizza stand? Today I learned that cum tastes like nickels. Huh. You just learned that? I have a rolling pin. Where the fuck is it? Here we go. I wish this was a little warmer too. The thing is about pizza making, everything, it's the best when everything's like fucking warm. Oh, this is supposed to be two. Shit. All right. That's right. There we go. We'll save that for me and my daughter to make tomorrow. Okay. Or no, she told me she don't want to make pizza because she's having pizza tonight. She doesn't want to have pizza too often. Fuck, stuck up little brat. Yo, what if all these people ask me weird questions or my daughter and her friends? I feel like the pizza didn't rise, the dough didn't rise enough. Yeah, I'll get it nice and thin. That'll be all right. Okay, I need to get over to that mozzarella though too. Yeah, and Uro Tali, I wasn't trying to be too mean when I said you're being pedantic, because you're right. It would be nice to have a second person, but I don't like it when people, when I, sometimes I pick up uh, the, the people talking to me in a certain way that sounds like they're just assuming I don't know what I'm doing, which I do. It's just that I'm, uh, you know, also trying to do a show at the same time. But um, it goes into what I was saying earlier when I feel like a lot of people assume because of how I play characters in the show that I'm like a goofy little... Uh, not real person in real life that doesn't know how to do anything. And it's mostly true. It's definitely true anything involving an interpersonal relationship. But I do know how to do this. I know how to eat tacos and watch movies. No. Well, thank, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody, for all your help and my ability to make pizza. Wink. All right, so. All right, now we get fucking crazy. Let's get that uh, mozzarella. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, totally got like weighty again. Which is fine, I guess. Okay. Oh man, but the, the stuff that is not weighty is definitely cheese. So this isn't perfect. I could, I could work this a lot, lot more, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make this cheese, make this pizza now. But I mean, so the the point though is that it's doable, right? I mean, you just watch some fucking idiot make cheese, right? And so, and this is actually not even going to be very much cheese. See, I, I definitely jumped the gun on getting it out of there, but it's okay. <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> 
a little more cheesecloth. And also, like, you know, when I made cheese before, I didn't have a kid. I didn't have a job. <laughs> I could just make cheese. Now it's like, oh my god, I'm never fucking doing this again. You know? Am I a more of a sauce or cheese man on pizza? I don't like too much sauce. So there's, yeah, cheese. Also look at my belly. All right, so, that probably answers your question. All right, well that's pretty mozzarella-y. Look, it's starting to get elastic, that's great. That's what you want, you know. It's just that I'm kind of trying to rush now, which, so if I had gotten the rennet, I'd be way done. The rennet just breaks it up a lot better, you know? And, you know, it's getting there, but it's just not there. All right, let's make this fucker. This is like, yeah, it's still very crumbly. That's okay. Dude, cheese is hard work. It's true. It's awesome, though, when you can do it. And like I said, when I made it before, it was easier. But, uh, you know, this I almost kind of decided to make it on the fly almost, you know, so. Whatever. Um, okay. But yeah, so next time I was with Kitty Boys, I'll make like a box of brownies or something. <laughs> so <Something> fucking easy. <laughs> What is rennet? Some kind of acid? Rennet is an enzyme from the stomach of a calf. And uh, it's the traditional way to break up curds and whey. So. Alright, well, this isn't quite mozzarella, but it's definitely good. It's definitely going to... I think it's going to melt. It might get a little wet on the pizza, but that's okay. Alright, because I just, uh, just want to do this, but I mean... You get the idea. And so basically what you do is you keep doing this. You keep squeezing and There's so much more I could be making. I could make a large amount. But I just want to get this done. And I just want to show you guys how it works. So now this is where we get fucking serious about eating food. So. Why do birds suddenly appear? Every time you are near, just like me, they long to be. So one of my favorite ska bands, one of my favorite bands period is MU330. And at their live shows for a while, MU330's trombone player Jerry, who looks like a pro wrestler and talks like one, would sing a cover version of that song while shirtless and wielding a chainsaw. It was good. Okay, so this is a hot and obviously overused burned ass pizza stone. Just like me, they long to be. Timmy's gonna burn his hands. All right. Do, do, do. Do 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 meow 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 do 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 fucking cooking already that's okay though all right here's the thing. This has been a little tougher than I thought it would be, but also the cheese really happened. It's just uh, not quite done, but that's okay. But this is gonna be, the, the, the thing is, like even when you, the other great thing about making your own shit is, the fuck did that spoon go? The great thing about making your own stuff is you lose your spoon and then you can't fucking function. Um, Whatever, man. Figure it out. But anyways, a great part of making your own stuff is that you, uh, even when you fuck it up, it's still, like, so much better than anything else would be. You know what I mean? Time to make your own spoon. Yeah. Bar, bring me a stack! 
Oh, I got the spoon wet. Everything got covered in fucking curds. Whatever, man. I'll just... I have one more wooden spoon here. Okay. Alright, so you can probably... There's just a salami commercial, apparently. Or a pepperoni commercial. Okay, so... You can see the pizza's already kind of cooking. That's okay, though. Do, do, do. Oh, my God. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. This is like just, you know, it's going to be good. And, you know, I was talking earlier like, you know, I'm not just the silly weirdo from the show. People, I know what I'm doing, but this is totally, I feel like the silly weirdo from the show because I feel like I fucked this up. But, yeah, I mean, I just kind of had to rush it because... I mean, not too long. You know what? You If you ever watch Trey the Boys with me and Nate and Sam, around the two-hour mark, two-and-a-half-hour mark, like we're getting here, you'll see the same thing there. Because that show goes on for a while because you got because it's a kind of complicated, right? But um, by the third or fourth hour, by the third hour, two-and-a-half, third hour on that show, I was like, yeah, what's that? Let's just stop talking. <laughs> so now this is almost more like goat cheese, only it's cow's milk, but... Uh, Whatever, it's still going to be good, and it's close to mozzarella, and I could get the emergency mozzarella out of the fridge, but I think I did well enough that I don't have to. And this is the whole bit that I squeezed out, so whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're just going to do it and see what happens, you know? It's still going to be good. I did. I had emergency mozzarella in case uh, this didn't work at all, which it did work. Uh, I just had to speed it up, and so in doing that... Didn't get it completely cheesed. What the fuck? How does this package work? Why can't fancy people make stuff easy, you stupid fucking pig? Alright. I'm just fucking cutting this open. <laughs> get me the food! Oh my god, this pepperoni looks sick. You know what? I'm gonna have to use the emergency mozzarella. I'm gonna put some on here, you know? Use the pig. <laughs> you know what, if I if I thought about it more, I would have tried to convince you guys that my daughter had a pet pig and said she got a sleepover tonight that I was going to butcher the pig while she was gone. That would really get people fucking freaking out, right? Okay, I gotta move stuff to get into my fridge because the way I set up this whole little Things. How the fuck do I even get in there? Hold on. Oh my god. This is, this is kind of crazy. Okay, there's the jigs. I was hopefully not going to have to use this. Alright, well, hey, homemade Timmy Cheese. Here's your fancy uh, uh, Cosmopolitan friends. You want to take a bite right now? I mean, you probably could. Everything's cooked. All right, we're just going to do a little bit of this on top. Look, they're still way in this, though. I mean, that's the thing with fresh mozzarella. But So I could have worked it a lot more. And there's a lot of curds left, and I might work it. I might finish it up. We'll see. I'm just a little done. You know, you ever just get fucking done? That's what I'm. what's happening. We're just going to give each pep a uh, one pearl of store-bought. Fancy mozzarella. The other thing is, it's gonna be goddamn good no matter what, so. Nothing like traumatizing your stream for a pig joke. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how long do I cook this shit for? Uh, 15 or 20 minutes? Nah, yeah, probably not that long since it's thinner and smaller. Okay. Just like me. They love to be done with food. Ugh. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, all right, bye, bye, pizza, bye, bye. We'll do about twelve minutes. See what happens. Okay. Well, even though the cheese did not quite turn out quite like I wanted. I hope everybody still 
uh, feels like uh, they saw something interesting and I hope you are still entertained and I hope that see look now this the rest of this is really getting to where yeah and this is uh, the ovens hardly or the stovetops hardly even on this is really getting to see how the liquids really clear so you know I'll probably keep that and you could I'll still be able to use it you know I'm gonna eat this one piece of pepperoni Fuck oh, yeah, that is good pepperoni. Oh my god. Man, that pizza stove kind of did a number on my pot holder that some grandma made at the mall. Huh. That's a good ass pepperoni, my friends. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Homemade pepperoni. No, that's what I'm saying. That was my joke about the pig. Because I was gonna pretend I had a pig that I was gonna kill to make pepperoni. Pepperoni is pork, right? Maybe it's beef too. I don't even know. Is there such a thing as bad pepperoni? No, of course not. But it's just like with pizza. There's not really bad pizza, but there's fantastic pizza and regular pizza and like me i normally get the hormel pepperoni and so when you get the good shit it's like whoa you know it's just a you know you can taste the difference it's like there's the spices are a little different it feels a little more real you know it's got a real good taste to it you know homemade yeast culture no and not homemade vinegar either But a long time ago, and I've referenced this tonight, is when I lived in Portland, uh, I did a lot of that urban farming kind of stuff. Like, uh, we had chickens that gardened a lot. Uh, so I would make the cheese then. And, you know, I did it more often, and so I got pretty good at it. Um, but uh, we had chickens named Darren, Sam, Zach, and Trevor. And Sam, the chicken, never laid eggs. And then when I moved and I gave the chickens to my buddy Jaime, he uh, called me and he's like, yo, Sam the chicken died mysteriously. And so I told Sam that. Next time I talked to Sam Brown from Whitest Kids, I said, hey, the chicken we named after you died. And he said, that's really, that's really weird that you would tell me that. <laughs> Like, yeah, it is kind of weird that I would tell you that, isn't it? Alright, I'm slowly de cheesifying my home. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So the thing is, is I'm pretty much scrapping all of the cheese attempt except this. And this I will, I think, uh, get going. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that to become cheese. So, and I'll put up a picture. You ever have New Haven a pizza? Uh, do you mean a pizza shells? Oh no, I know what you mean. No, no, Sam's laid an egg in that story. However, Chicken Sam was uh, the breed of chicken known as a Buff Orpington. They're big and have giant asses and fe they're very feathery and like a classic chicken looking chicken this one was a big yellow chicken and uh we had a little fence up for the chickens sam the chicken was a, an escape artist there were several times i'd be like at home playing fucking nintendo or something <laughs> get a call from my neighbor like ah oh, yeah your yellow chicken standing in the street outside my house just looking around <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, I'll go get him. Or her, whatever. So the other chickens, uh, Trevor was a silver-laced Wyandotte. Zach was a Rhode Island Red, another classic chicken, just a big brownish, red, uh, reddish brown chicken. Darren was the fancy chicken in Americana. They uh, lay green eggs. Not inside, but the shells are green. 
I had a theory for a while that whatever color a chicken's feet were was the kind of eggs, uh, color eggshells they would have. That's not correct, but it was a good theory at the time. You know? I joined late. What kind of milk do you use to make cheese? Whole milk. Yes, uh, you can use any kind of milk, but whole milk is what you want. You don't want it to be ultra pasteurized. Also, if you can get rennet, get it. Um, and I, you know, the thing is, is like making something while you're doing a show is kind of a little more difficult, but especially when it's like this. But you know, so I, uh, I there is the pizza's in the oven, and there is some good uh, curd-ish cheese in there. But um, I just didn't press it and work it enough, and I will. Um, I'm going to keep working this, um, you know, tonight after I finish streaming. But basically, once the pizza's done, I'm going to eat some and then we out. Because I'm just dead, you know? Wait a minute, Implicate. You can tell by the chicken's ears? But how do you get a good look at their ears? Oh, now hold on, hang on, saying the same thing. Ear flap colors, where are those? Those are back, well, I'm pointing at my own ears. But on a chicken, whatever. I know, I get what you mean, I think. Did you get enough pizza for the whole chat? You just fucking showed up. You don't get any pizza. Um, and no. So I should put out something I can cut it on. And I need to do this, and I need to do... Look at this crazy unorganized cabinet. Is everybody impressed? Does anyone have a specific unorganized cabinet kink? You do now. I have so many cabinets here, like, there's tons everywhere, and so, like, you know, when you have a limited amount of space, you're more pressed to organize. But when you have all these goddamn cabinets, it's like, oh, I've just got to fucking put this here. I remember uh, my, my very good friend, Amber, helped me move in, and uh, she was like, how many, we were putting the mugs, like, in a cupboard up here, and she was like, how many fucking coffee mugs do you have? And then I was like, uh, no, we're going to move them. She put them all, she got all the mugs put away. And then I'm like, no, we're going to move them. And we're going to put them uh, in a different cabinet. So then she moved all the, the mugs. Now watch that double door. Watch these double doors. So I made my friend move all these mugs. So look at that top shelf. That is fucking coffee mugs like three or four back. <laughs> so you have a problem. I need more mugs. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> That's very clear. Um, how did this? Okay, that looks about right. Okay. Do I have a favorite pizza place? Pizza place in New York. I haven't been back to New York in a very long time. Um, I loved. God damn it. Uh, was it called Stromboli in the East Village? I love that pizza place. Um, Chicago, I haven't spent enough time in Chicago. The, the one thing about Chicago is uh, my ex-wife's from there. So uh, when we were still married, I would spend time with people from Chicago. And, you know, the deep dish thing is like the tourist version of Chicago. It's like sweet and sour chicken, right? It's like not what the people really eat. Uh, they eat uh, thin crust, Chicago style, which what that means is it's a... Circular or square thin crust pizza cut into little squares. Um, and so, but you know, there's some good deep dish stuff there too. There's one place that makes like this, what the fuck did they call it? But it's like a, it's over by one of the big parks there, kind of in the loop in Chicago. And they made like a, it's like a pizza hot dish. It's like this tall and it's like doughy. It's really good. Um, I, uh... So that was pretty good. Um, but so there was a pizza joint here for many years called Empire Pizza. It's still here. And they do Chicago salad. It's fucking delicious. Um, they do uh, my friend Sidecar, uh, who I was supposed to call to come eat pizza tonight, but I got too fucking worked up with the cheese. Whatever. Sidecar, I'll get you next time. Uh, <laughs> anyways, he uh, turned me on to uh, pepperoni and jalapeno pizza. Empire. Then we also have Dempsey's here, which makes a good, uh, uh, I was talking about them earlier, but um, not a Stone Cold Steve Austin oven. What do you call it? Stone oven? Whatever. He makes that kind of pizza, and it's really good. Um, he makes a good Stone, stone Cold Steve Austin pizza. Now, 
I'm gonna have a yeasty dough, some delicious salted cheese, and some kind of cured meat on top. Can I get a hell yeah? You know, so like that, but uh, um, but so, okay. And then when I, uh, let's see. So yeah, Chicago, that was a good pizza. Uh, New York, yeah, Starbucks was good. There, the thing in New York is like, there's a fucking pizza joint, at least when I lived there, especially in Manhattan, there's a pizza joint on every fucking block. And a lot of them were like, you can get a slice and a soda for like, when I first moved, there was like 250. It's like, fuck yeah. You know? Yeah, it's probably a wood fire pizza is what I meant. I'm just so stupid sometimes. But, um, so I think that, I think the true winner of the night is the, uh, well, the pepperoni's good, but I didn't make that. The pizza sauce definitely, definitely worked out. Look at those nuts. Some, there's some nice big curds in there. I'm going to have to... Man, I don't know what to do. I think I can just cover this and refrigerate it and try more tomorrow. And if not, then fucking whatever. It was a failed experiment, and that's okay. How's the pizza looking? I don't know. I'm going to check in a second. Um, so, uh... Like, I was literally about to look... Oh, man, that's kind of looking done. The pepperoni's, like, burning a little bit. Well, it's getting singed. The pizza definitely looks kind of done. There's a big bubble in the middle. That's okay. Um, the br the edges of the crust are brown. I got 19 seconds left on the count. I'm just going to do it. Uh, the temp is 450. If you put pineapple on pizza, you got to do jalapeno. So, yeah, pineapple and uh, jalapeno do go well together. And that's the thing is, like, like I was saying earlier, like... The whole, like, oh, pineapple and pizza kind of, like, it kind of got made up into this imaginary debate when really the story is, like, well, just make whatever you fucking want on your pizza, you yeah? um, know? But, I mean, growing up, we were just, we were definitely a Hawaiian pizza household, you know? We loved, we loved getting the old Hawaiian pizza, which I don't really know anybody from Hawaii. I think I've met a couple of people from there, but not anyone that like lives there. It spends a lot of time there, but so I don't know. But I really seriously doubt that's actually something they eat in Hawaii, right? No way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna uh, get this pizza out to put it on something and cut it. This guy here. Alrighty. Oh wait, here we go. This is gonna be fucking cool. What if I just turn the camera on and my dick's out? I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's put this, like, here. Yeah, all right, cool. Hey, hey. Okay, uh, dick cam. Dick cam. Dick, dick cam. Dick cam. Oh, yeah, you can see in there, can't you? Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, so what's the best situation here? I'm going to... Where do I... I have a fucking peel. Where do I put it? God, I'm just a fucking maniac. All right, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. Oh, slides right off there. Fuck yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. That was a good idea. This whole stream was a good idea, even though my perfectionist fucking complex is going off. All right, now we move this to right here. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. All right. Nobody came out tonight. Well, maybe some of you did. I didn't see all the chat. Maybe someone said, hey, I just, uh... Okay, that looks fucking good, right? Okay. Big come, are you saying this is it because you think I'm going to come out? No, I've, uh, I know I said a couple years back on the stream, I had a talk with Trevor and Zach once where I'm like, sometimes I think I'd like, you know, maybe I could like swing the other way, get into dudes. But then right after that, I, uh, started seeing a lady for a while and, you know, after you, you know, because it had been a couple years, right? So then I was like, had sex with a lady, and I was like, oh, no, 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 I like having sex with ladies. <laughs> I just forgot. 
Man, this fucking plastic pizza cutter sucks. Okay, the dough is not done all the way. Not really, but it's okay. I mean, you can eat it. There's not egg in it or anything, so I can eat it, but... Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, that pizza cutter is plastic and shitty. I need a... It's from my old workplace, like a, a freebie would hand out at the farm show. My the insurance job, but, uh... Anyways, this does look like fancy pizza, doesn't it? Okay, where's that scissors at? There we go. Oh, yeah. Come for Betty. Andrew, Andrew, I thought you were Andrew WK for a second. Andrew K944. So you actually, you came in at a good time because I, uh, well, I'm about to eat a delicious pizza, but also um, this is only the second Zucchini Boys I've done in like seven months. So I was off for a long, long time dealing with, uh, I you know, obviously Trevor's death, some other stuff, breakup, new job, bought a house, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. But I'm fine now. Everything's cool. And I'm cool with everybody involved with everything, you know. Well, I'm still kind of mad at Trevor for dying. But, uh, you yeah. um, <laughs> But anyways, so I had, uh, long story short, short story long, I did, uh, I hadn't streamed for uh, Dunn's Zucchini Boys for a very long time. And so I just started doing it. Um, uh, two weeks ago, I did one, Super Bowl Snacks, which I'd always wanted to do. And also just happened to be... That one was like an emergency thing. Here's the thing, is since I bought a house and moved, I had not figured out the logistics for doing Zucchini Boys. And then we had planned to do a uh, self suck Saturday, and at the last minute, everybody else was like, I can't do it. I was like, fuck, well, I guess it's time. You know, so I just pushed myself and got Zucchini Boys set up, and now I think I enjoy the setup. Do you guys think it's good? Filled with garbage says the weenies were the winner of that stream made some the next day. Definitely fits your name, you know? Um, so anyways, uh, so I'm, I'm really glad to be doing it again. And so, you know, it might be every two weeks for a while, I don't know. Um, but uh, it's been great. And uh, having a bigger kitchen in my own spot where I can scream at that motherfucking pig without getting in trouble is... Uh, you know, it's great. Uh, so, what's the piece with the most pepperoni on it? Uh, oh, this one looks good, right? This one? Which one? Okay. All right, everybody. A. Yeah, no, here, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Some of these look all right. I mean, they're all going to be good, I'm sure. But here's the ones I'm going to try. All right. These three up here. These three... A pizza that I'm gonna eat right now. And it's gonna taste real good. And I'm gonna like it so much. One, two, or three. You're saying A. Okay, well, yeah, the, there's a, the delay's gonna be a problem here. I should have done a poll. Alec Baldwin got in trouble for the voicemails he said his pig. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of three. These cheese, you're right, whoever said that missed your name. This feels like a fancy puzzle, that's great. Three, well, eat all of them, I probably will, but uh, I'm only eating one on stream. Okay, we're gonna go with three. All right. I don't have the best mouth in the world, but I think mouth cam will be good for this, right? There we go. It still feels a little hot, and I, I feel like I maybe undercooked the dough, but that's okay. Oh, that's good. How'd the pizza come out? Well, you tell me. It's right there. I think it's pretty good. The cheese did not uh, go quite as planned, but it's still good. Mm -hmm. mm. State Park System says eating a screaming Sicilian pizza in your honor, Timmy. That's some good frozen pizza. And the boxes that they come in have a little mustache you can cut out which my daughter and I definitely do every time we get one. Yeah, I made the cheese. So, it's supposed to be fresh mozzarella. I didn't get it squeezed enough, and I started kind of rushing. So it's more like I put a bunch of, like, cottage cheese on the pizza. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it melted okay. And uh, it's good. 
But I made the I made everything except the pepperoni. I made the dough from scratch. I made the uh, sauce from scratch. Hmm. This is good, man. Ooh, you can taste that basil and the tomato sauce. Man, after the stream, it's gonna jerk off to a picture of basil. You know what I mean? Not Basil Rathbone, who played uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes for many years in the 30s and 40s, but just like the plant. You know? Would you make it again? Says one soul third sub. Yeah, that's good pizza. Great sauce. Obviously, the sauce is very tomatoey. And the canker sore that I have is really mad at me right now. But, um, trashy samurai, it's okay. Sherm says, uh, you think you can handle that whole thing in one sitting? You know? So I've been, uh, and it's okay if nobody noticed. But I've been, uh, trying to eat better and lose weight. I've lost about 20, I just about, tw where am I at? I've been losing weight for, we're trying to lose weight. For about five six weeks and i've lost getting close to 25 pounds on it but um so right now where i'm at where i'm actually eating less uh no i could not eat this whole pizza in one sitting but uh it'd be fun to try Twenty pounds in five weeks. Uh, literally, just using an app called Lose It, where you put in what you weigh, how much you want to weigh, and it tells you how many calories to eat. And I often undershoot it, and about once or twice a week, I'll majorly overshoot it because I'll be sitting at home after I've eaten all the calories I allotted myself for the day. They'll be like, "Now nah, I should go buy a package of the uh, of uh, Shorty's spicy sausage sticks from the dollar store and eat them all." <laughs> But yeah, all you do a uh... Nate, you always ask the weirdest questions. Any interest in the new Kerbal Space Program 2 that just came out? No, I just... I'm not, I've not been in a video game in mood lately, except uh, Pokemon Velvet? No, Violet. Hmm. Adventures of Interest, you're right. And I did... I should have eaten some before the stream, but I wasn't that mean today. I'm always going to get on people for fucking trying to tell me what to do. Have I seen skin or rank? No. Velvet isn't a color. Yeah? Well, what about black velvet? No, I will not be a trailer boy tomorrow. Or next week. Because this Thursday... I mentioned this last night on the stream. Um... Every time I've ever taken a trip in the last 10, 15, 20 years has been either for comedy, to go visit a girl, or on a trip with my kid, right? So my very good friend Amber and I, and she's a girl, but we're like old buddies, like, you know, so we're just, just like bros. So uh, she's had a rough couple of years, I've had a rough couple of years. She's never been to New Orleans, so we were like, let's just fucking go. And we're going next Thursday for four or five days, and it's going to be great because right in between... Uh, Mardi Gras was last week, so it's in between Mardi Gras and Spring Break. And we got, uh... AVD Prayer, well, thank you for saying that. Um, you know, and I probably overreacted too, but I just, uh, I just hate when people make assumptions about me. So, it's, it's all cool, you're good. Um... Well, Shabbos says, don't crash diet too hard where your metabolism goes down. Yeah, you know, so it actually is okay sometimes to, like, if you eat too much in one night and then get back on track, because then it kind of kicks it a little bit, but yeah. Um, okay, so anyways, we're going to be in Nolens, uh, and we're going to have a great time. It's going to be crazy there, but not too crazy. It's in between spring break and Mardi Gras. I'm sure it'll still be nuts. Um, but I think the brilliant move on my part, first of all, 
we're both like adults now. We're in our forties. My friend and I. She's like got some fancy bank job and stuff, and I'm doing all right. And so it's like, wow, we can like uh, you know, pay for our vacation. Like, you know. So I was like, well, hey, instead of getting a hotel room somewhere, you know, in a normal part of town and taking a cab over to the fancy to the you know French Quarter every day. Let's just get a hotel there. She's never been there. I've been there a few times, but she's never been there. So it's like, a, let's just get crazy with it. So we got a hotel room with a, it's on Bourbon Street with a balcony, but it's not, the balcony's on the side street, but still, it's going to be great. And I told her, I'm like, look, if you want to earn some beads, just let me know and I'll turn around. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a good time. Oh, hold on, hang on, that's good information. You're at the beginning of crawdad season. Man, I've been to a crawdad boil there once, but that was, well, that was in April, so that was pretty good, too. Do you think I could earn some more beads? I don't know. I mean, I, I have been losing weight. I don't have the best hits right now. You know? All right. Thank you for coming to watch the Giddy Boys. I'm really glad that I made this pizza. It's too bad the mozzarella didn't work. Hey, fuck my pussy. Here you go. Tits are tits. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, sidecar. Uh, dude, I'm sorry I forgot to call you. Things got crazy. The cheese didn't really work out. I mean, it's good. But it didn't quite, the mozzarella didn't work out. I got all stressed. Anyways, I'm gonna eat one more piece of pizza. Oh, no. Hey, should we raid somebody? Neat, or, neat, what are you doing? Oh, Natalie MC, thank you so much. What a sweet thing to say. Last more than you have in the last six months. Make sure you tell Zach that. Do you watch Zach a lot? Tell him, like, hey, I let... No stream for Nate today. Nate's taking a break. All right, I'll rate somebody else. Hit me with the suggestions, kiddos. Everything now show? All right. Don't try and... Pressure Nate into streaming. He needs a night off. He was telling me about it. I video chatted with him and Kathy later. Jealous much? That's right. We know each other well enough to talk on the phone. Anyways. And uh, he was telling me that... Uh, I don't know if he was expecting us to raid him last night after Fuck It Friday, so... Uh, I think he wasn't expecting to have to do stuff... Just put on WKOK reruns. If I could figure out the way to do that, I would. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I mean, yeah, you know, I know I get too salty sometimes, and yeah, maybe it is part of being hangry, but you know, just everybody be free and be nice. And to the person who who apologized so profusely to me, you made me feel bad, which is also part of my anxiety complex, but also I'm sorry if I came down too hard on you. We're all bros, I would hug you. Woosia Central, did they do Woosia movies or what? I don't know how to say that word. Anybody who knows how to say Chinese words, tell me. Whoopsie is central, okay. Excuse me. Retro. Is that really what they're doing? Are they watching Wuxia movies? It is Mars Hearts. Fuck yes. What are they watching? That looks familiar. Okay. So everybody, have a good night. Uh, raid this channel. That seems like a lot of fun. And I'm probably going to sit on a couch and watch martial arts movies anyway, so it's be like we're still hanging out. Um, I love you guys. Octave Fuzz, I'm leaving like literally right now. It's always such a bummer when this happens, right? All right, bye everybody. Enjoy the Kung Fu film. I might hang out for a second and watch.